away from where they want to be. And what have you made of the, the fan discontent at Chelsea? Pretty open fan discontent at times, and different people have been the target of it. Sterling and Pochettino, of course, we were here for the quarter final against Leicester. They won that game, but it, it is not a happy place, Stamford Bridge, a lot of the time at the moment. It doesn't take much for the Chelsea supporters to get very frustrated, and maybe some of that is understandable. No, it is understandable, but you know what I would say to the, the Chelsea supporters, uh, I would urge them to try and support the players, because I can only speak from a, a player's point of view. If you make a mistake, the last thing really you want is, is the, the, the fans to be having a go, and they're not really having a go at the player on an individual basis. They're not. They're having a go at how far this club has fallen behind in such a short space of time. And it was only a couple of seasons ago, a couple of years ago, where but Chelsea won the Champions League. And look, they're a million, again, a million miles away from that right now. So I do understand where they're coming from, but the club, the new owners, have gone down a different philosophy. You're not going to change that philosophy, not now. So just try and get these youngsters who clearly have been brought in for the future. I personally think wrongly so. There should have been a lot more players, that senior pros, ready-made for the here and now, the present. But that's not the case. And it will be interesting to see what they do in terms of buying and selling in the summer about whether they will try and bring in more players or whether they quite simply have to sell some of their best players because they put themselves under pressure from a financial point of view. Got a light show going on now at Stamford Bridge and what feels like happens at most grounds now. You've got plinth with plumes of flame flying up into the air. It is pretty spectacular here at Stamford Bridge. And lots of supporters holding up phones to capture the moment, just like we're doing here in our commentary position. Had a lot of talk, of course, about Cole Palmer and the wonderful impact that he's had about Chelsea. Kobe Mainu, likewise, in the Manchester United midfield. Now, they're not going to directly go up against each other. A plenty in the game, necessarily, Scott Minto. But these are two young English talents who, in really difficult seasons for their respective clubs, have really been the, the shining lights, haven't they? Couldn't agree more. I mean, they've been absolutely fantastic, and you wouldn't have expected at the start of the season that you would have said these are two of the stars uh, by the end of the season. I mean, what we just talked about, the atmosphere, and again, I don't necessarily blame the fans, but the, the difficult situation and atmosphere that the Chelsea players have had to play in this season because they are so far away from where the fans expect and have seen them been over the last couple of decades. For Cole Palmer to come, I'll be honest with you, Joe, I didn't know he was this good. I thought he was good. It was a, still a big surprise for him to leave Manchester City. They just won the treble. Obviously, they won five trophies in the calendar year. And yet, he wanted to leave the, the best club in the world for a club that was very much in transition. It's been very difficult times, but he has stood up and he has been quite simply Chelsea's best player. You look at Bobby Maynard as well, the way he's come in the second half of the season, the way he just burst onto the international scene. I thought he was sensational in both games, coming off the bench against Brazil and, and brilliant against Belgium, where now Joe, he really does and he's also almost pushing for a starting place which I, I think would be a little bit early for him but it looks like he's already comfortable playing for his country as well as his club again in very difficult situations well away to our right hand side at the Matthew Harding end of the ground there's a beautiful banner with a photo of the late great Ray Wilkins former Chelsea player of the year FA Cup winner at Manchester United and how appropriate in some ways that his two former clubs meet each other tonight in the Premier League on the sixth anniversary of his very sad passing taken of course far too soon at the age of just 61 Scott. Do you know what the last time I saw Ray I brought my dad to uh, a Chelsea game and it was raining and we just passed each other and it was only about 10 minutes to kick off and he just stayed and he was chatting and chatting and chatting
Talks 4 2. Liverpool still lead Sheffield United 1 0 over on Talk Sport tonight. And the busy few days of action to come. Tomorrow we're with England's women against Sweden at the start of their Euros qualifying campaign at Wembley on Talk Sport 2. Saturday, Crystal Palace against Manchester City. Norwich, Ipswich, and Aston Villa against Brentford. All live on the network. And on Sunday, Wickham against Peterborough in the Football League trophy final at Wembley Talk Sport 2 from the National Stadium. And at 6 o'clock, Tottenham against Nottingham Forest. That's a live commentary for you on Talk Sport. Another big game for Tottenham in the race for the Champions League and for Forest in their fight against relegation. Every game matters between now and the end of the season on the Talk Sport network. And I can see the two captains going head to head in the centre circle. Conor Gallagher, who has now captain Chelsea on 15 occasions in this Premier League season and Bruno Fernandes just the other side of the halfway line of course for Manchester United and the Manchester United players move towards the edge of the centre circle the Chelsea players are in a huddle ahead of kickoff, which is just a few moments away here on Talk Sport 2 it's a massive game this Scott Minto it, do you know what it is? Because, you know, again, forget about how they've been in the last 20 years or so. This is something which, not just for the teams, but for the managers, especially, I think is a massive game. Manchester United quite simply have to win this if they're going to try and get into a Champions League place. Chelsea have to win this if they're going to get into a European place. Massive game for both. And Chelsea, in front of a full Stamford Bridge, beneath the lights here, will get us off and underway, playing from right to left in the first half. Manchester United from left to right so Chelsea attacking the shed end which is where the very vocal Manchester United fans are housed there's a cameraman having to sprint off the field of play and that's what's delaying the restart at the I moment he doesn't put his hamstring oh, but he's carrying a, a camera that looks pretty heavy as well he's actually done fairly well there I'm glad the first aid men are down there as well because he looks like uh, he's struggled to get to the line they're well placed aren't they just in case Enzo Fernandez and Chelsea will kick the game off Chelsea fans still arriving in their seats all around us here the match referee is Jared Gillett will keep you up to date with Liverpool against Sheffield United on Talk Sport Liverpool lead 1-0 but the game is off and underway here Chelsea against Manchester United big game in the race for European football Manchester United who still have hope of the Champions League maybe Chelsea chasing realistically the Europa League or the Europa Conference League I'll give you the two sides Chelsea in possession with uh, Petrovic the goalkeeper Gusto Dizassi on the ball now, crossing the halfway line. Badia Schiel and Kukure are the defenders. Enzo Fernandez, Caicedo and Gallagher in midfield. Mudrick and Palmer either side of Jackson up front. Manchester United on the attack now with Anthony. Ready now the near side the right. Is he going to shuffle the ball forward to Juan Bissaka? He cuts it back and crosses. Come back to Anthony. Left-footed shot is blocked and it's scrambled away by Enzo Fernandez for Chelsea. Early warning sign for Chelsea as Palmer floats a high ball up over the halfway line. Not the best of headers clear by Harry Maguire. The loose ball retrieved by Kukurea and a fast and energetic start in the opening minute. Gallagher's touch for Chelsea. Little back here to the penalty area towards Palmer. Blocked off by Maguire and Maynou scoops it forward for Manchester United who have Anana in goal with wan Bissaka starting at right back. Dallo has started at left back. Maguire and Varane in midfield. Casemiro, Bruno Fernandes and Maynou and Garnacho and Anthony in support of Rasmus Hoyland up front. You attack, will attack is the way the game is started. Garnacho now. Raiding down the far side for Manchester United left. One-on-one -on -one with Dizassi, tries a cross, takes a deflection. Petrovic sprawling forward, all in green, dives on the ball, prevents the corner. Chelsea nil, Manchester United nil. And an encouraging opening 90 seconds, certainly for the neutral Scott Minto alongside. Well, we weren't sure which way this game is going to go, and obviously we're still not. We're only 90 seconds in, but what I would say is Chelsea have attacked a couple of times, and so have United. So let's hope it stays as open as this. Manchester United looking for three straight league wins over Chelsea for the first time since 1965. Chelsea, as I said earlier, have not beaten a big six side at Stamford Bridge in 801 days. They haven't beaten Manchester United here since November of 2017. Here is Palmer, the outstanding Palmer. Such a silky player. Finds Enzo Fernandes on the halfway line. A square ball to... Moises Caicedo, left-hand edge of the centre circle. Pochettino already down on the edge of his technical area. Arms folded. We're right at the very back of the three-tiered East Stand. Steep drop to the touchline below. Anthony has fouled Kukurea. 
and that's a free kick to Chelsea midway inside their own half. Rashford and Mount among the Manchester United subs today. Yeah, and I think it's interesting that Juan Bissaka's playing right back, whereas um, it was the other way round against Brentford on Saturday. I do feel Juan is kind of an out-and-out -out right back, whereas Darlow is a little bit more technical and can be quite happy on his left foot. But... Um, in terms of in terms of Chelsea, it's like as you were on Saturday, but please step it up, get out of second gear, get into fourth. I just think this is the perfect game for both teams. We'll see who can live up to expectations. Chelsea starting the night eight points behind Manchester United. Chelsea 12, Manchester United 6. Mudrick goes down. Free kick given just inside opposition territory. There's a Chelsea fan about ten rows down below us. Frenetic out of his seat and he hasn't stopped clapping and cheering, waving his arms up into the air. There is a little bit of something between these two. It is a classic Premier League fixture. Nil-nil inside the first three and a half minutes. Manchester United win the ball back, but then it's given away by Maynou. And here is Enzo Fernandez. Ten yards into the United half. Lovely ball out to the right wing. And Gusto, Malo Gusto drills it in low. It takes a deflection. Falls for Gallagher! It's on Nonano and in! What a start for Chelsea! And their captain, Conor Gallagher, who made no mistake from just inside the 18-yard. Manchester United's defending absolutely non-existent. Where was Diogo Dallo? Well, Chelsea don't care. Gusto's cross took a deflection. There was Gallagher under the body of Anana, who might have been on sighting. Chelsea lead Manchester United by a goal to nil with just four minutes gone. Yeah, Chelsea win the ball back, and there's two players of Chelsea down the right-hand side, and Dallo's nowhere. There's Gusto, he takes it. He tried to pass it to, to Cole Palmer, but in the end, there's a little bit of a deflection to Conor Gallagher. He's, what, 15 yards out right in front of goal. He takes the strike. He strikes it well, but it is straight at Onana. And, yeah, OK, he does it well by keeping it on target. I feel maybe Onana didn't quite see... You know, maybe there's a, a defender in the way. I think there is, Rafa Varane. But still, I think that's a, a save that he has to be making there for sure. Goalkeeper got a hand to it, but it squirmed under his left hand on a slippery surface at Stamford Bridge. Rain tumbling, and the Chelsea fans roaring with delight on four sides of the ground. Chelsea lead Manchester United by a very early goal to nil. And Conor Gallagher has his fifth of the season. We were right behind it as he struck it right-footed. Certainly not a truly clean strike, but it went through the legs of Varane and was enough to beat Andre Anana, who after actually a very tough opening to his Manchester United career, had looked a little more solid of late, Scott Minter. Yeah, he has, and I think he'd be really not happy at all that he's let that go under his arm. Yes, he, he might have seen it late, and yes, there is heavy rain right now, but it's not as if it was right in the corner. It's gone underneath his arm. He's got to get down quicker. Chelsea, for me, look like they've got a point to prove after drawing at home to Burnley at the weekend. Manchester United's intensity just isn't there at the moment in these early stages. Caicedo converged upon by three in red. Bruno Fernandes comes away with possession. Steers the ball square into a, an empty space in the centre and Rasmus Hoyland dropping into his own half of the field. Now Dallow out to the left-wing position, the far side of Garnacho. Garnacho thought about going direct, but in the end thought better of it, goes back to the halfway line and Dallo is back in the left back position but he was nowhere to be seen for Chelsea's opening goal. Mano Gusto had the freedom of the right wing and usually his delivery is very good. It didn't actually have to be that good on that occasion. Liverpool 1, Sheffield United nil. is a half-time score. That Darwin Nunez goal at the moment, enough to take Liverpool back top. Floated downfield by Varane, header away by Kukurea, edge of the box is Anthony. Wide to Bruno Fernandes who tried a first-time shot. Kukurea slides into block. What an intense, breathless start to the game we've had here in West London. Brilliant tackle, wasn't it, from Kukurea. Just lunging in. Interesting to see Bruno Fernandes in that position, normally technically so good, so you would have thought it hit a target. I'm sure Petrovic would have felt that he could have saved it, but you never know. Great tackle from the left-back. Manchester United fans on their feet trying to encourage their side in two tiers of about half of the shed end. Lots of Manchester United banners and flags in between the two tiers. Manchester United on the attack, playing from left to right. Here is Anthony on the corner of the penalty area. Bright orange boots on. Little poke back into the path of Bruno Fernandes, who drives the ball cross field, right to left through the evening sky. Poor cushion header by Garnacho, but Dallo does well to win it back and find Garnacho in an attacking position. Dallo left hand into the penalty area. Couple of step overs, right footed cross, cleared away first time by Disaster. The one thing that Chelsea will do, despite their good form of late, unbeaten in five in the Premier League, just one defeat in nine in all competitions we know 
that Chelsea give you a chance. They haven't kept a clean sheet since late January. Yeah, they're normally very good in the first half and very bad in the second half, aren't they? So you might feel like they need to go two up. But what I would say, it's been a very good reaction for Manchester United since that goal. I think it was, you know, that one attack. Apart from that, it's been very 50-50. Anthony calling the penalty area. Onto that left foot, tries to whip it into the far corner. Anthony's signature move, and the ball is gathered easily by the Chelsea goalkeeper, Georgi Petrovic, who is at fault for the Burnley equaliser here at the weekend. And, of course, Manchester United had their own troubles in West London last Saturday, only managing a draw away at Brentford. And now De Zassi on a 50-yard burst for Chelsea into opposition territory. Back to Palmer. Crossfield right to left. Chested down elegantly by Mudrick. Mudrick uses his pace. Teasing Wan-Bissaka. Right-footed curling effort. And that's only a couple of yards wide of goal. Very deflection. Onana looked very confident that was going to drop wide. And in the end, it was a plants beyond that far post Chelsea lead 1-0, ninth minute they have a corner live on Talk Sport 2 again it's a really good game you have to say United have tried to attack but Chelsea are trying to go for that second goal, really good cross field pass to Mudrick and I think I'm interested to see how we try and take on wan who is probably one of the best one-to-one -one defenders, he came inside, had the shot, deflection has meant that Anana didn't or wasn't able to, to make the save but again Chelsea now putting pressure with the corner, Dizassi and Badi Ashil are both forward here and it's an opportunity for Chelsea from a set piece floated in by Mudrick towards Dizassi headed away by Casemiro of Manchester United then the ball ricocheted off the heel of Garnacho who's won it in front of Palmer midway inside his own half the field surges forward out of play it goes and that'll be a Manchester United throw in the left back position on that far side of the field very good start to the game from Chelsea playing with great intensity though they often struggle to match that in the second halves of games this season yeah they do and well, you know, exactly what Pochettino was saying about how he wasn't happy with the Burnley game at the weekend they certainly started as to what he wanted it to do now can they keep this up still very early in the game Manchester United have it with Anthony has been lively and sprightly early on in the game back to Harry Maguire and now Onana and Maguire who and made his 200th appearance for Manchester United off the bench against Brentford. United, 11 Premier League defeats so far this season. 12 is the a club record that has happened twice, both times since Sir Alex Ferguson retired. Here is Garnacho on the halfway line, back towards Varane. Varane midway inside his own half, tucks it forward, about 15 yards to Maidu. Lovely sweeping pass from Casemiro. Effortless to the right-hand side and Anthony. Anthony one-on-one -on -one with Kukurea. Infield onto the left foot, finds Hoyland back to goal. Hoyland's got Garnacho in space for the left. First time shot, well blocked by Gusta. Petrovic has flung himself to his left, thinking he was going to need to make a save. Crucial block, good football again from Manchester United. 1-0 Chelsea lead. Great game. It's just a really good game of football with two teams trying to attack as much as possible. Great ball from Casemiro out wide to Anthony. He comes inside like he normally does, but to be fair, that was the only option he could do. Played it into Hoyland, and if he was able to get it earlier out to, to Garnaccio on the left, then perhaps he would have been able to have time to take a touch and then the shot. By the time it went out to him, it was well blocked by the Chelsea defence. But again, really open attacking football from both sides. Had a lot of driving rain early on in the game here. Here is Caicedo in the centre circle for Chelsea. He's given it straight to wan -Bissaka. That was an awkward looking pass. And Maynou plays a neat one two with Hoyland. Shrugs aside Enzo Fernandez. Wriggles his way towards the edge of the box. Almost rolls the return pass for Hoyland inside the penalty area. But he had his back to it. And Chelsea are able to clear. Well, I, I did say Scott Minter this was never going to end nil-nil. <laughs> I wasn't sure whether it'd be nil-nil or we said 4-4, didn't we? Oh, if it's 4-4. It could well be 4-4. And there's a, a glut of excitement to come. Liverpool 1-0 up at half-time against Sheffield United. That's live on Talk Sport. Best way to be across all the action, download the Talk Sport app. You can swipe between both stations and you leisure that way. Here's Casemiro. Gloves on. Midway inside the Chelsea half. Back to halfway in. Rafael Varane. Now to the near side, and Anthony. Anthony darts in field away from Kukurea. Back he goes to Casemiro in the centre circle again. Good noise from the Manchester United fans, who always travel in numbers and with plenty of vocal support. Garnacho back to Dallow. In field from the left-hand side. 
Square to Casemiro, central position. Chelsea have got plenty back. Flick from Bruno Fernandes. Now it's Anthony with a low shot, deflected from the edge of the penalty area. A deflection took all the sting out of it. Petrovic gathers, but again, Manchester United with some neat one touch into play. Worked the angle for the shot, Scott Minter. Yeah, really good football from United. And Anthony came off the wing and he was able to make that extra man in midfield. And as the ball went to Hoyland, he was there ready, laid it off, had a shot, well deflected or well blocked by Chelsea in the end but again United looking strong they've, they've not been dismayed by conceding that early goal you can see Eric Ten Hag issuing instructions from the tiny technical area three tiers of seats down below us arms folded the Manchester United manager here he is Wan-Bissaka deep inside the Chelsea half in field to Anthony five yards from the edge of the penalty area now Bruno Fernandes little touch gets it back from Anthony tries to squeeze it through to Hoyland Bruno Fernandes went down as though fouled referee said no free kick Chelsea are on the counter Palmer driving over the halfway line all left foot far side the Chelsea right Manu Gusto is just behind him that's the obvious pass and here is the Frenchman fit to play tonight for Chelsea despite having to go off at the weekend with what was thought to be a hamstring injury Enzo Fernandez exchanges passes with Malo Gusto again. Wanted to dink it forward. Instead, feeds Palmer, who shuffles it into the path of Malo Gusto again. Right wing position, far side. Manchester United with everybody bar Hoyland back behind the ball. And that slowed and checked the momentum of this Chelsea attack. Badia Shield, long ball out to the near side of the left. He steered it into the feet of Mudrick. Mudrick, couple of step overs beyond Wan Bissaka, who then slides in to make a very good block after that cross from Mudrick. His one on one defending is superb. Manchester United fans are fuming because they felt it should have been a goal kick. Yeah. Referee gives a corner. Yeah, you could tell the United players weren't happy with that at all, but it already looks like a fantastic one to one on one battle between Mudrick, who has now regained a, little, a lot of confidence, I have to say, in a Chelsea shirt, up against Wan Bissaka, who we said is such a brilliant one on one defender. Palmer will take the corner, formerly of Manchester City, so getting the boos from the Manchester United fans. And the shed end here for Chelsea. Left footed and now swinging delivery into the six sharp box. Harry Maguire heads it away. Straight back to Mudrick, who's down by the dead ball line. He dinks it all the way to the corner of the penalty area far side. And Mano Gusta taking on Garnacho. Cuts in field. Left footed shot could be on here. He's laid it square to Kukurea, who was on completely the wrong side. You can tell that Mark Kukurea is all left foot. And he sent it skywards. Very clumsy motion. Right footed over the top. Scott Minto is a former left back. I was waiting for that. I was waiting. That's a left back shot on his right foot. Took you ages to say it, but you got it out in the end, Joe, didn't you? Thought about leaving it, but then <laughs> just couldn't you lose had it. To, you had to put it in. Now, what I would say is Malagusta did really well and actually could have shot on his left foot. Realised that that wasn't his strongest. Laid it to Kukadeu. It took about three or four seconds to move around the ball and it was never going in, was it? He did score here against Leicester in the FA Cup recently. Jackson has evaded Maguire. Too much pace down that right-hand side. The cross is on. He tries to pull it back. It came off Varad. Then it did rattle off the boot of Jackson. That is a goal kick. And the right decision is made by the referee. Maguire racing out to try and beat Jackson in the 50-50. Jackson, who has been an enigmatic signing for Chelsea. Nine Premier League goals. Nine Premier League yellow cards. You don't often see that for a centre forward, 1-0 Chelsea lead, just over a quarter of an hour gone, you're listening to Talk Sport 2 and I'm sure they'll be back underway at Anfield for the second half very shortly when Liverpool are a goal up on Sheffield United. Yeah, two things, one on that game in Anfield, if Sheffield United thought they'd get to half time 1-0, they would have settled for that, but they'd be kicking themselves in the way oh, they the can matter of the them. goal, right? Absolutely, but two, I think enigmatic is the perfect word to describe Nicholas Jackson, I really do. I've defended him a lot this season and you know look he's very raw he's got some great attributes he's probably two years ahead of really where he's quite ready to be but I would have to say he scored goals this season and he can cause problems but he also misses Chelsea won Manchester United nil as we welcome listeners from Talk Sport. United on the attack. Wan Bissaka, corner of the penalty area, tucks it back to Anthony now. Kobe Mainu joining the attack. A sea of blue shirts in front of him. Mainu dinks in the cross. Garnacho back post. First time on the volley, right footed. And for a player who's capable of spectacular goals, he's got it so wrong that it's rolled all the way towards the near side corner flag. 
and hit the corner flag before apologetically dropping behind for a goal kick to Chelsea, who lead 1-0, courtesy of Conor Gallagher's fourth minute opener. What have you made of the first half, the first 17 minutes so far, former Chelsea defender Scott Minter? Do you know what? I think it's been a brilliant game to watch. I really do. You've got two teams who are just attacking, and it's, it's made it a, a really exciting watch. Obviously, Anano, you will feel, will be disappointed with conceding that goal. And apart from that, United have played well. Big game in the race for Europe, this. Eight points between the two teams at the start of the night. And Anthony makes the tackle on Kukurea. The referee says penalty. Anthony got the wrong side. Kukurea inside the penalty area. Got the reverse ball from Mikhailo Mudrik. Anthony tracking back. Made the challenge. Jared Gillett had a long look at it. And then he said penalty kick for Chelsea. And Manchester United in danger of falling apart inside the first 18 minutes. Chelsea have a spot kick. And it'll be the former Manchester City man, Cole Palmer, so often deadly from the spot, who surely will take it. Well, it's incredible considering how well they've played Manchester United. They really have more possession, more shots, more on target. And yet in the real crucial moments... Obviously, they haven't been good enough. But I feel for Anthony because he's, he's trying to track back in the way that perhaps Marcus Rashford hasn't all season. And yet you just don't make those type of lunges once it gets into the box. A really good run off the ball from Kukadeya. You Sometimes you just have to let them go. He didn't get any of the ball. VAR obviously checking it just to see if that was the right decision or not. But it's your typical winger's tackle and sometimes... Joe, you don't want your attacking player inside your own box. What a season Cole Palmer is having. Scored a penalty at the shed end against Burnley on Saturday, then scored in the second half, 16 for the season. Chelsea fans on their feet in front of us. A couple can barely bear to look. This for a 2-0 lead after 19 minutes against Manchester United in a big game for the race for Europe. It's Cole Palmer, left foot in, rolls it into the bottom corner. Onana went the wrong way, and Cole Palmer can do no wrong. Spot on again for Chelsea. The trademark celebration, Palmer keeps his cool, five goals in his last five appearances in all competitions, and what a rip-roaring start for Chelsea at Stamford Bridge tonight. Chelsea 2, Manchester United 0, and the club look on Eric Ten Hag's face says it all. Well, he can't believe it, again, because actually United have played well, but to be 2-0 down in these situations, again, it shows how it's all about moments. Moments of Conor Gallagher having the shot and going underneath Onana's arm, and then... The foul by Anthony on Kukadeya. And let's give credit to Kukadeya as well because he's had a lot of sticks since he's, you know, worn the Chelsea shirt. But actually this season when he has played, he's played very well indeed. But Cole Palmer, what more can you say about this young lad? I mean, how he didn't get any minutes on the pitch for England, I don't know. He has almost carried Chelsea this season. And when he stepped up there, you never had any doubt that he would score. Sensational player in sensational form. Wow, 2-0 Chelsea. And Manchester United heading towards equaling a club record 12 Premier League defeats in a single season. Commentary of the whole game on Talk Sport 2, Chelsea 2, Manchester United 0. 17 now for the season for Palmer. Where would Chelsea be without the talismanic Cole Palmer? The man who makes them tick, it feels like. I don't even want to think about that, Joe, to be honest with you. I mean, they're 12 at the start of the day, at the start of this game. Where would they be without him? And strange because Manchester United, since the opening goal, have played well. But they're now 2 0 down and facing a real uphill battle. And Mudrick is tearing forward up the middle. He's 35 yards out. He's urged to shoot. Little back heel. Strange back heel from Mudrick. Careless pass intercepted and cleared away by Maynard. And now Hoyland up to the halfway line. Blocked off by Dizassi. Chelsea playing with a second win. A real confidence about Chelsea tonight. Palmer infield from the far side of the right. Now he's on the burst. He's run past Casemiro. It's a brilliant run by Palmer. Left foot in effort. Deflected behind. Corner for Chelsea. And we haven't heard that Stamford Bridge roar very often this season. I was just about to say the atmosphere around here is just superb. Everyone 100% behind the home side here, the Chelsea fans. It's great to see. And the way they're playing at the moment, go and try and get that third goal and kill the game off. 2-0, United still in it. Palmer shaping to take the corner in front of a jubilant shed end. 2-0 to Chelsea, and we haven't reached the midway points of the first half yet. Palmer will swing this in, left-footed. Dizassi and Badia Sheila, both forward headed away. Something headed away. Good header clear by Maguire. Excellent height and distance on that. Kukurea hooks it back over his own shoulder. And Palmer retrieves the ball, scampering back towards halfway. And he feeds Moises Kaiseido. It's just been a brilliant game so far. With the speed of thought 
and quality on the ball and we were talking about Manchester United just then Scott Minto be desperately disappointed Eric Ten Hag with the manner of the two goals no they will and look you know obviously being ex-Chelsea I want Chelsea to do well but you have to say this is not a 2-0 game United have not been that poor at all as I say it's just been about moments really but in terms of attacking intent and the way they've played United are so much better than they were in the Brentford game Goal kick for Chelsea away to our right. That looked harsh against Anthony, that. I thought the final touch was off Malo Gusto, right in front of the assistant referee. Anthony can't believe it. Chelsea 2, Manchester United 0. On Talk Sport with Now, don't forget that with Now you can stream all the Sky Sports action live, contract free with a Now Sports membership. Search Now Sports. And it's still Liverpool 1, Sheffield United 0 into the second half at Anfield on Talk Sports. So, as I said earlier, make sure you've got the app to stay across all of the action. Liverpool heading back top of the Premier League on another big night of football. Here's Maynou trying to force his way towards the edge of the Chelsea penalty area. Blocked off and now Enzo Fernandes, the number eight, takes a possession. Sweeping ball towards halfway. Dallo thought about diving in but had to retract his idea. Palmer has skinned it. Palmer's darted beyond him like he wasn't there and moves infield to a centre position. Then checks back onto his right. Tripped by Dallo. Palmer was just too good there against a player who's been quite consistent for Manchester United this season. He's playing like he's flying, Cole Palmer. Yeah, let, let's start with Darlo first, because I think you're absolutely right. In what has been a really poor season for United, I think Darlo has been one of United's most consistent players. And obviously he's playing left back tonight, but he, he's up against a, a kid. He is a kid. He's up against a kid who just believes he's invincible, can do whatever he wants. And to be in that kind of mood, added to that his technique. And he hasn't, Joe, got that sort of blistering pace that Mudrick has on the other side so he needs to be even better technically to go past players and yet he's doing it at will wonderful wonderful player another amazing potential prospect for England this summer in Germany when you look at how Foden's playing how Bellingham's think, playing do you think Palmer's going to make the, the play he has to he absolutely has to so surely. why didn't he play in the, in the two games well that's the manager Gallagher dinks in the free kick high to the far post Dizassi is free should have done better Hits it over the top. Free header at the back post. Free header has to hit the target at the very least to make an honour. Have to make the save. I mean, a poor defending from United there. Again, I'll, I'll, I'll back them in terms of how they played. And they have been very decent going forward. But defensively, they don't look great today. You, you know, you've got Maguire, you've got Varane, you've got Wambasaka and Dalo as well. You've got Casemiro just sitting in front. And we've spoken about Kobe Maynard, how well he's played this season especially in the last few games although maybe not in the Brentford game defensively though really poor I should say in regards to Palmer in England there was that minor injury that kept him out of the Brazil game over the last international break I'm sure he's in was that the Belgium game as well if that was the same in international go. break he was on the bench against Belgium so maybe that was precautionary after missing Brazil but I'm sure he's in Gareth Southgate's He's got to be. He's got to be. If he carries on playing like this to the end of the season, there's, there's two friendly still, isn't there, to go before he has to pick the, the final 23. 2-0 to Chelsea. Manchester United fans perhaps will be heartened by the fact that Chelsea concede a plenty, even in the very good recent run that they've been on. Chelsea conceded 10 goals in five games, but they're leading 2-0 here. Palmer again raiding up the inside right channel, up the edge of the penalty area, plays the ball in low, steered away by Maguire. The overlapping run was from Enzo Fernandez. Palmer elected not to try and find it. Caicedo wins it back diligently in the middle of midfield. And now it's worked left to Jackson. Is that a streak of dyed blue in Jackson's hair? Maybe. Your eyes are good. Here he is near side to left. He's played it infield to Mudrick. Caught on the penalty area. Tackled from behind by Anthony, who this time times the challenge correctly. And Anthony has knocked it beyond Kukurea and raced past him into Chelsea territory. Kukurea able to get back this because Anthony shot the field. challenge correctly. And Anthony has knocked it beyond Kukurea and raced past him into Chelsea territory. Kukurea able to get back because Anthony shuffled infield. And then Casemiro hit by a firm but fair challenge from Conor Gallagher that has Chelsea fans out of their seats. It applause in front of us. Brilliant tackle from Conor Gallagher, but that, that's kind of like the, the weakness of Anthony. He did really well, was very direct, and he went past Kukurea, but he didn't trust his own ability or his own pace and, and speed. 
to just take it on, whereas a Marcus Rashford would have done. And in the end, he's allowed Kukure to come back. He's passed it back to Casemiro. Wasn't the best of passes, and Gallagher's made a great tackle. Well, Eric Ten Hag has said before the game to our colleagues from television that the idea of leaving Rashford on the bench was rotation to keep, keep him and the team fresh. We talked about the Liverpool game, didn't we, on Sunday? Ah, oh, forget about the Liverpool game. It's about winning this game first and foremost. And again, he can play Thursday to Sunday. Of course you can. Of course you can. If he's playing well, Joe, there's no way that he's not in the side. He was absolutely brilliant last season with his 30 goals. Mount among the Manchester United subs: Eriksen, Amrabat, Ahmad, Evans, McTominay, Cambuala, and Heaton. I'll give you the Chelsea subs. In just a moment, here is Anthony again. Seen a lot of the ball on the Manchester United right. Shapes infield once more to find Hoyland, who drop into the midway point of the Chelsea half, and then it's whip cross filled by Maynou to the feet of Garnacho. Manchester United looking to get themselves back into the game. 2 0 down with nearly 28 minutes gone. And Maynou for once has lost possession. And now it's Jackson on the burst. All alone, but racing into the Manchester United half. And Mudrick is herring forward in support. It's played through to Mikhailo Mudrick. Angle is tight. It's the side netting. Great supporting run from Mudrick. Only he, with all of his pace, skating across the turf, could really made up, could have made up that ground. Maguire did well to force him wide and it's into the side netting. Maguire did really well. I mean, it's an absolute mismatch in terms of a sprint, isn't it, with Mudrick against Maguire, but he was just going further wide there and he just shepherded him an extra touch. And by the time he took that extra touch, he was so wide, there's no way he was going to score from there. So good defending from the England international. The Chelsea, if they do win tonight, would be two points adrift of seventh spot, occupied by West Ham. Chelsea have a game in hand on everybody, at least in the race for Europe. A couple of games in hand on uh, West Ham and on Aston Villa, although Chelsea are far too far away from fourth spot. But they'd be just five points off Manchester United with a game in hand on Eric Ten Hag's team. Here's Garnacho, infield from the left for Manchester United who have the FA Cup semi-final coming up against Coventry. Chelsea also in the semis against Manchester City. We'll have both games on Talk Sport, as you'd expect. Here is Dallow, edge of the penalty area. Right-footed effort, curling over the top. Dallow, via deflection, corner to Manchester United, and he can hit them from range, as we've seen this season at Sheffield United, if you remember, earlier on in the season. He certainly can, and it's just important for United to make sure that they get the next goal. Still only half an hour gone. Get the next goal, you're right back in it. The atmosphere completely changes. Chelsea get 3 0 up. I don't see them coming back from that. It's going to be Bruno Fernandes in front of the Matthew Harding end with a right footed and out swinging corner. Maguire and Varane are both forward. It's in towards Maguire, towards the penalty spot, but headed away bravely by Badi Ashil, who's had a lot of injury problems this season. Manchester United with Dallo pinging a long ball straight out of play. That didn't even hit. The field of play, it just flew out off the advertising hoarding. You're saying Bolt couldn't have got that, let alone Marcus Rashford or, or Anthony, who it was aimed for. So, 2-0 Chelsea lead with half an hour gone. Liverpool 1-0 up against Sheffield United. As Manchester United, frustratingly for them, give the ball away. But now they've got it back through Maguire. Some moans and groans from some of the Chelsea supporters. As Dizassi steers the ball forward to Palmer, dropping back into his own half, taps it back to Enzo Fernandez. He's got lots of space to scamper into now. Ten yards to the edge of the box, hits it forward, very hard towards Jackson, almost came off his uh, heel. And the flag goes up on that far side. And it'll be a Manchester United free kick, which Anana, all in bright yellow, is about to take. More than 50 games in the month of April on the Talk Sport Network and Premier League football back on Saturday. Crystal Palace against Manchester City among our commentaries and Aston Villa against Brentford, two big games in the context of the title race relegation, the race for the Champions League, every game matters between now and the end of the season what a season, and not just in the Premier League, absolutely we've got the Championship as well on Saturday lunchtime the East Anglian derby, Norwich playoff chasing, Norwich in sync against Ipswich top, yellow card for Malagusto a foul on Garnacho and a free kick to Manchester United six yards from the corner of the box. They haven't played badly Manchester United for long stretches of this game but they're 2-0 down. Yeah and again Chelsea just need to be careful now because it's almost like they're 2-0 up and they've just got a little bit sloppy. They're not quite playing with the same level of intensity and, and certainly from United's point of view 
They look the more likely to, to go on and score, but again, have they got that little bit of quality? Great opportunity here with a free kick. Bruno Fernandes is standing over it for Manchester United. Hoyland will be among the targets. Not scored since February. Casemiro good in the air as well. Varane and Maguire are also in the penalty area for Manchester United. A long line of royal blue on the edge of the box. Chelsea have brought actually everybody into the 18-yard area to defend this free kick. And of course, clean sheets are not a plenty for them. In by Bruno Fernandes, header away by Caicedo, drops down to Kobe, Manu half volley, fierce strike, straight at Petrovic. Great technique, wasn't it? And he had to bring it down really quickly, as Chelsea defenders are running at him. He did, he struck it well on the half volley, chest half volley, bang. Unfortunately for him, he was pretty much straight at Petrovic. Here is Dizassi for Chelsea, about 10 yards shy of the halfway line. A little bit of intensity has just dropped out of the game in the last couple of minutes or so. It's going to be hard to keep up the breathless pace that we saw early on. Well, it's down to United now. They're 2-0 down. You know, Chelsea are the team that's two up. It's almost like, you know, you want them to carry on and play with that intensity, but it's understandable. It's like, OK, well, we're going to make sure that we have a little bit of game management here. United need to be on the front foot. Chelsea playing some good stuff as well. Caicedo's hit the left wing position, and Jackson, great ball infield. Mudrick, he's taken it in his stride. He's down by the dead ball line. The angle was tight, and he's being shrugged aside here by Casemiro, who's got to be careful with the challenge. Shrugged aside Mudrick to win it back for Manchester United inside their own penalty area. And now he's clipped the ball forward towards the halfway line. Bruno Fernandes slices it skywards. Anthony's kept it in with a left footed touch and given away by Caicedo. Garnacho is through on goal for Manchester United. He steers it into the bottom corner. He punishes the error. And Manchester United are back in the game. Terrible mistake by Moises Caicedo. Square pass straight to the feet of Garnacho. He still had a lot to do. But my, how well he did it. Chelsea 2, Manchester United 1. Well, we talked about the drop in intensity, and I just wonder whether Caicedo just should have played the ball back to Petrovic. You know, he's trying to play a, a ball across when it just wasn't really on. And there were a couple of United players ready to pounce, so just play the ball back. And by the time he has done that, fair play to Garnacho, who's just sniffed it out with his pace as well. No one's really catching him. And then it's about composure. Have you got that composure? So many players have got the pace. When it comes into the final third, do they have that ice cold thought pattern that, yeah, I know exactly what I'm going to do and I'm going to stick it in the back of the net. Game on, 2-1. And now a yellow card out of the pocket of the referee. I think for Enzo Fernandez. Liverpool 1, Sheffield United 1. The bottom team have equalised at Anfield. And so Liverpool would miss out on going top as it stands. An own goal from Conor Bradley. Liverpool 1, Sheffield United 1. Still over half an hour to go. That's live over on Talk Sport. We've got a game on here at Stamford Bridge as well. Chelsea lead Manchester United 2-1 after 35 minutes. This was an, an 8.15 kickoff, a very late kickoff, especially for the Manchester United fans. Bruno Fernandes pings a free kick into the area. Harry, Harry Maguire at the far post on the slide, on the stretch. Couldn't keep it in play. It was a gift from Caicedo. It really was, and one he just didn't need to make. I mean, it needed to be inch perfect to Badia Schill, where you can just pass it back to your goalkeeper. Fair play to Garnacho. Real good composure. Keeping Badia Schill just at arm's length, and he's leaning towards one side as he gets it in, but he doesn't give Petrovic any chance whatsoever. And so Chelsea have now conceded 48 Premier League goals this season. It's just sloppy mistakes as well, isn't it? Again, when you tune it up, if you're dropping intensity, fine. But then just have that game management. Play the safe pass, especially when you're almost the last man. Don't play it across. Just give it back to the keeper. So Arsenal top of the Premier League ahead of Liverpool on goal difference. Liverpool 1, Sheffield United 1 is the latest score. Manchester City would be a point behind on 67. Unbelievable title race. Forward by Casemiro for Manchester United. Bruno Fernandes hits it from range after getting the return ball from Rasmus Hoyland. 25 yards out, set up nicely for him on the half volley. Flew into the lower tier of the Matthew Harding. And it's still 2-1 to Chelsea. But actually, I think in terms of the performance, Scott Minto, Manchester United do deserve that goal. No, absolutely. And if anything, they deserve to be level. I think they've been as good as Chelsea. As I say, it's just been moments 
Murphy yeah. in the change. What do we say, 4-4? Four, four? It's on the cards, isn't it? You never know. You never know. Well, Mo Salah's been substituted at Anfield, by the way. Harvey Elliott has come on. Long way to go in that game, but if Liverpool were held by Sheffield United, that would be extraordinary. Enzo Fernandez, centre circle, wide to the right-hand side. Palmer attacking the corner of the penalty area for Chelsea. Cuts it back. Enzo Fernandez! Saved by Anana! And turned away by Juan Bissaka on the rebound. It's a corner to Chelsea. Enzo Fernandez maybe didn't get it as close to the corner as he might have wanted. No, a really good play from Chelsea. Back on the front foot again now. A touch and then shot from Fernandez. Decent save from Anana. Well played, Juan Bissaka, making sure that he got there first because Mudrick was desperate. So just a, would have been, what, a simple goal, two, three yards out, but Wambasaka got there first. The ball's been placed down by Mikhailo Mudrik on the near side. He'll take the corner for Chelsea. Right-footed in swinging, heads go up, and it's pounced on by Onana inside the six-shot box. I think Dezassi got the initial touch to get it back across goal, but Onana was there, and a quick throw out to Bruno Fernandes, who races over halfway. There are three in red in support for Manchester United. Anthony races in field. Lovely crossfield ball. Right to left to find Garnacho. Ten yards to the dead ball line. Back to Dallow, corner of the area. Right footed cross. Header in. Bruno Fernandes. 2 2. What a comeback from Manchester United. Bruno Fernandes at the back post. To not be on Georgi Petrovic. The away end goes absolutely wild. And Manchester United, well, you have to say they deserve it. They were 2 0 down. And now, with 38 and a half minutes played, it's 2 2. Well, just amazing game, I have to say. 2-2 and we're still waiting for probably more goals in the first half but Chelsea down one end have a shot and maybe Fernandes will be thinking he should have stuck it more in the corner and Anna makes the save United go down the other end and again there's so much space the way there was a crossfield pass and then the ball went back to Dalo two on one from the left hand side he's whipped it for Fernandes who's a really good header heading it back where it came from but Chelsea's defending in terms of picking up individuals not been good enough. I'm telling you now, Joe, 4-4's four on. Well, it's Chelsea 2, Manchester United 2. Halfway there on TalkSport 2 with Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Enterprise has vans of all shapes and sizes, so if you've got a plan, they've got a van. So, two goals in five minutes for Manchester United to bring the scores level here. It's a great ball from Darlow, I have to say. First of all, to get up there with Garnaccio, do a two-on-one with... Kukureya. The ball was played back to Dalo, then he's looked at the far post, and there's a two-on-one at the far post. I mean, there's all Chelsea defenders down the middle, but no one's actually picking up the men. Really poor defending, but very good header for Fernandez and great play from Dalo. Enzo Fernandez, halfway line for Chelsea. Palmer's great ball in field to Caicedo in space, racing ten yards near to the box, onto Mikhailo Mudrik. Mudrik's curler, and it's grasped by Onana. Well. Not much defending going on at Stamford Bridge tonight, but it's a tremendous watch on TalkSport 2. Well, it makes it a great watch, doesn't it? So end-to-end, -end. you say, neither midfield able to control the tempo of the game. So much space. A lot of attacking going on. I'll tell you what, if you're neutral, you're loving this game. Bruno Fernandes' name is being chanted by the Manchester United sub uh, supporters behind the goal. Then he said substitutes there. That would be interesting. <laughs> Header by Juan Bissaka on the halfway line. It's given away to Kukurea with the curly hair. Chelsea win it back. Caicedo rolls the ball infield towards the centre circle. Suddenly it's Manchester United winning the 50-50 challenges. And the frustration from the Chelsea fans who saw their side go 2-0 up after 19 minutes. But Manchester United have levelled it up here. It's been an all-out attacking display from both teams. Fouled by Mudrik on Juan Bissaka. Free kick to Manchester United, 15 yards into the Chelsea half. Can they turn it around completely before half-time? Oh, they can, absolutely. But Chelsea can also go on and score the third goal. I mean, look, what I have to say is the Premier League at its best, isn't it? There's two teams who want to be right up there. They're not. But in terms of the game, just fantastic to watch. Really good attacking talent from both sides. Not great defending at all. Such a difficult one to call. I wasn't sure which way it was going to go at the start of the game. Got no idea right now. Bruno Fernandes standing over this free kick. It's about 20 yards into the Chelsea half. He whips it in high. Right-footed Maguire at the far post. The ball bounced up onto his head. It was a very difficult header for the England man, Harry Maguire. And he couldn't divert it on target. But Chelsea suddenly look vulnerable every time United come forward. It's Chelsea 2, Manchester United 2. The latest dog said to William Hill, our official betting partner on TalkSport 2's Premier League coverage. Right now, 
Chelsea 21 to 20 to win it, a draw at 11 to 5, Manchester United 27 to 10. That's all thanks to William Hill. Get epic value all season with William Hill 18 plus. Be gamble aware dot all. Rain has returned at Stamford Bridge, but that hasn't dampened the spirits of the Manchester United fans one bit. 2 2. Enzo Fernandez for Chelsea. Over halfway. Wide on the angle to the far side, the right, and Palmer. Dallow nowhere near him, really. Palmer in field. He's got Enzo Fernandez making the run outside of him. Gallagher takes over and rolls a low shot, drags it well wide of goal. Still Liverpool 1, Sheffield United 1 on Talk Sports, and Liverpool would miss the chance to go top. I can't believe that, by the way. And I cannot believe that Liverpool will not find a way to win that game. If they don't, that's two massive points dropped. It's interesting in terms of this particular game, as much as we're talking about the attacking side of both of these teams, neither Nicholas Jackson nor Rasmus Hoyland have really been that much involved in the game. It's been the, the wide players who have certainly made the contributions. 81% possession for Liverpool at Anfield, but 1-1 it remains. Anyway, here on Talk Sport 2, Chelsea 2, Manchester United 2, in a thrilling game. Both teams separated by eight points at the start of the evening in the race for Europe and it really could go either way now two minutes of the first half remaining in terms of normal time Rizzo Pochettino outside his technical area arms are folded on the near side in that long puffer jacket high ball fought by the goalkeeper Onana and Dallo is adjudged to have fouled the retreating Mano Gusto and that's a free kick to Chelsea in their right back position but Chelsea's soft centre certainly saw it on Saturday against the 10 men of Burnley we've seen it again defensively tonight Scott yeah we have and look you know Pochettino moaned and complained about the lack of intensity from his Chelsea side they've certainly had that today but even just that kind of savviness that you know, Chelsea teams of the past have had been able to see the game out you know you've got a John Terry marshalling this defence haven't really got anyone doing that right now and as much as there are good players no one sort of you can see shouting and organising that's the problem they've got Anthony's tracked back very diligently there to win it in front of Kukurea just a couple of yards away from his watching manager Eric Ten Hag work together at Ajax of course Ten Hag and Anthony head of infield by Bruno Fernandes towards the halfway line Casemiro it spins over him and Gallagher Casemiro hooks it on upfield header away by Dizassi slightly scrappy passage of play eventually ends with Chelsea winning it back touched over the halfway line by Kukurea Caicedo surge forward and he's kept it in unexpectedly left wing forward to Mudrick Mudrick down by the dead ball line tried to cut it back firm challenge from wan Saka at the expense of a corner and the Manchester United fans were very close to it and they loved that and we're about to enter first half stoppage time well this would be a big moment if Chelsea were to score tune it up and pull back to 2-2 uh, half-time team talk will certainly change but this could be a, a big moment in the game Kylo Mudrick will take the corner five added minutes in the first half at Stamford Bridge Mudrick right-footed here comes Anana punches it away one-handed high up into the dark evening sky relatively mild evening at Stamford Bridge as Malagusta wins the ball back on the far side the right hugging the touchline he's got a disaster in field and so to Enzo Fernandez. Enzo Fernandez tracked all the way by Kobe Maynou and Maynou does well to force Enzo Fernandez to go back into his own half of the pass. Maynou has stayed down, injured here potentially. Not a head injury, so Chelsea can play on. Maynou has gone to ground. Eric Ten Hag speaking to the fourth official. Maynou now sits up and slowly gets to his feet. Chelsea still have it, but they're only midway into the Manchester United territory. Enzo Fernandez, reverse ball towards Malo Gusto, plucks it out of the air well, back to goal on the dead ball line, but he was in an offside position, up goes that lime green flag, and it's a free kick to Manchester United, 2-2. It's a great run for Malo Gusto, someone who's really impressed me with Rhys James being out, so much so that if Rhys James were to get back to fitness, then I think he's an absolutely superb player, I wouldn't start him, I think Gusto's been that good, I thought it was a perfectly timed run actually pinged at him and brought it down really well but in the end the referee's assistant gave it for the offside but that's the type of runs that I think Chelsea need to do whether it be Kukure on one side or Malagusto on the other just kind of getting in behind and Fernandez and Moises Caicedo more than capable of playing those balls in the referee's just in conversation with uh, Casemiro at 
the moment. There's a disagreement involving uh, Casemiro and Enzo Fernandez, and Casemiro, look, he was wagging his finger in the face of Enzo Fernandez there. They're having, I think they're talking about the incident involving Maynou and whether yes. the ball should have gone out of play. Well, no, the ball shouldn't have gone out of play. Whether he felt that he fouled Kobe Maynou, but I, I think you're probably right. He probably is moaning ball out of play. No, 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 no. It's not a head injury. It's down to the referee to decide where the, the, the game stops. You carry on. Brazilian Casemiro and the Argentine, the World Cup winner, Enzo Fernandez. Play continues. We are over a minute into the five added at the end of the first half on Talk Sport 2. Jackson blocked off by Rafael Varane. Go to Chelsea far side. Some of the home fans heading for the concourses ahead of half time, but you really don't want to move at all, really, the way that this game is going. 2 2. Could be more goals to come, who knows? Gusto to take the throw. Infield to Gallagher, midway inside the Manchester United half. He's robbed the possession by Bruno Fernandes, who pings the ball downfield immediately. Reverse ball that's gone out of play. And Bruno Fernandes now sitting down on the turf as he hurt himself playing that long pass, possibly. Sitting down, and he's not getting up very quickly. He does get the hand up from Palmer, and Bruno Fernandes sure will be able to run that off relatively easily. I'm Chelsea, I just want to get the ball and throw it in as quickly as possible. If Fernandes decides not to get up, that's down to him. They've got ten men. Another poor touch off the slippery surface from Ka Caicedo, and it's one back by Anthony on the edge of the D. Bruno Fernandes touches it forward, it bobbled off both Garnacho and Menu, and that allows Axel Dizassi to win back possession for Chelsea. Caicedo's touch has deserted him on more than one occasion. That led to the goal from Garnacho that got Manchester United back into it. And then five minutes later, Bruno Fernandes with the equaliser from 2 0 down. Little touch by Enzo Fernandes over halfway. Advantage played after he was fouled. Palmer racing forward and looking dangerous. Corner of the area, left foot, ball towards Gallagher! Off the post! Made that late run, rattled the woodwork with the angle slightly against him. Chelsea fans all around us thought it was in, but it's ricocheted away off the woodwork. And maybe Manchester United can break with a minute of the five added to go. Garnacho has got it on the halfway line. A seesaw first half and nearly the lead again for Chelsea. Brilliant, brilliant. Really good first half and just uh, so close there from Conor Gallagher. Great run from Cole Palmer down the right. I actually thought he was going to play inside to him, but he, he played it in behind. Very nearly hooked his foot around. Lovely touch by Juan Bissaka, but a dreadful cross by Bruno Fernandes. Easily gathered by... Petrovic, the Chelsea goalkeeper, all in green. He was expecting it. Enzo Fernandez flights the ball up over the halfway line. Palmer is chasing it. It takes a bounce and then skips out of play. But Dallo was caught again there, which might give some encouragement to Chelsea. And it'll be a throw to Manchester United in the left-back position. What an outstanding first half. A first half that really, I don't think anybody, certainly not the neutral, would want to come to an end at this point. But it will, in just a moment, all eyes on Jared Gillett, the match referee, who's had a busy job in this first half. It's Chelsea, who took a, an early 2-0 lead, but Manchester United have pegged them back, and so it is 2-2 at half-time on TalkSport 2. What a thrilling first 45 minutes, and I have to say, we did expect it before the game, between two leaky defences, and so it's proved the case. Gallagher with an early opener for Chelsea under the body of Anana. Cole Palmer scoring a penalty after 19 minutes for the second after Anthony fouled Kukurea. But then the fight back from Manchester United, which on the balance of play, you could argue they deserved. Garnacho steering the ball home after the error in midfield by Caicedo. And then Bruno Fernandes, the captain, heading in an equaliser at the back post. Chelsea 2. Manchester United 2, Scott Yeah, I, I think 2-2 two, two is pretty much what we've seen in that first half. You know, United having slightly more ball possession, two more goal attempts, 13-11, to 11, but four each with shots on goal. I, I think it has been pretty much a 2-2 two, two game. Both teams trying to attack, defending not particularly good. Conor Gallagher, if he only had scored right at the very end there to, to go in 3-2, just changes the complexion a little bit and gets them back into control. But at this moment in time, no idea which way it's going to go. But what I, what I can say is I really enjoyed watching that first half, Joe. Well, it's been outstanding, hasn't it, in terms of attacking impetus and endeavour of both sides to get forward. Chelsea started so well, but they showed equally. Probably, Scott, while they are a mid-table team at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. Look, you know, a 
Pochettino complained and was not happy at all, and rightly so, with the way they played, the lack of intensity on Saturday. Well, they, they showed a, a lot of intensity in that first half. So too did Manchester United. I, I think it was a little bit unfair on United to go 2-0 down, but you know what? That, that, that's what happened. Credit to United for coming back into it. They showed a lot of character. They could have folded. You know, I wonder whether Chelsea would get the next goal to make it 3-0. They didn't. That next goal was always going to be very, very important. But to make it 2-2 as well so quickly, I think uh, United believe they can go on and win this game in the end. Liverpool lead Sheffield United by two goals to one. And Alexis McAllister has got the goal with 13 minutes left, live on Talk Sport. So Liverpool are heading back to the top Funny, of the Premier it? League. Although the way that these this week of football has gone in the Premier League, I don't think we'll take anything for granted no, at this point. No, but I can imagine I can just see that finishing at 2-1. And and you know, like the game yesterday for Arsenal, 2-0 up, and you're thinking, well, could it be four or five in the second half? wasn't meant to be Sheffield United I think they were 30 to 1 I was listening to to wow. talk sport this morning to, to win the game um, and, and obviously with that goalkeeper mistake and it looks like they've, they've battled hard but United, Liverpool sometimes you know you just got to find a way to win that's what championship sides do where people are expecting 4s and 5s 2-1 is just the same amount of points so Liverpool would be top 70 points Arsenal second on 68 Manchester City third on 67 here at Stamford Bridge cracking game Chelsea 2 Manchester United 2 on TalkSport 2 game day exclusive on TalkSport 2 with Enterprise Rent-A-Car Enterprise has vans of all shapes and sizes so if you've got a plan we've got a van Mm. Mm. When it's lunch o'clock, I just eat the tortilla naked burrito bowl. Oh, I didn't know you could get those. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know, dear. Well, I know that shirt's not coming back into fashion anytime soon. Too shame. Get tortilla, subway, prep, and more delivered. For lunch and everything else. Did somebody say just eat? Charges apply. Check available restaurants in your area and open in times on justeat.co.uk for details. Uno is now available in McDonald's Happy Meal. So let's see who can shout Uno first. Bring it on. Mm, yes. Yes. Ooh. No! A wild card! <laughs> right. Ah, yes. Back in the game. Yes. Ooh. No! I draw one card. Ah. Uno. <clears throat> Better luck next time. Have fun with your Uno cards. Does that one count? Nope. Oh. Some fun, some food. It's all inside this Happy Meal. <laughs> until 7th of May from 11am. Includes one pre-selected book or toy. Uno range comprises toys only, while stocks last. We all fantasise about our perfect home. Sipping a morning coffee out on the terrace. Good morning, Mr Squirrel. Morning! The kids building a treehouse in the garden. I'm living my perfect childhood! But come on, this isn't real. Listen, if you're serious about making your fantasy a reality, find out what your home is worth instantly with a free online valuation estimate. Get real about moving. Get on the market. Most common time to obtain an online quote between 1st of June 2022 and 30th of September 2022 was under three minutes. Excludes Northern Ireland. Hope there won't be any VAR delays today. And that rumour about their stake. Can't wait to see what the pundits make of that booking. Looking forward to the match report on this one. When it comes to football, never miss a story. Get the best news, opinion, interviews and gossip at thesun.co.uk. For the football lowdown every day, it's thesun.co.uk. Don't break your stride. Get to Screwfix for the latest offers on the brands you love. Like the next generation, more powerful, more compact Milwaukee 18-volt twin pack. It's new and exclusive to Screwfix at just $249.99. And get those lawns in order with a Titan grass trimmer. Now only $49.99. A saving of £10. Shop now on the app at screwfix.com or in store. Delivery fees may apply. Price is valid until at least 6th of May. Subject to availability. See screwfix.com for full T's and C's. Game day exclusive on TalkSport 2 with Now. Stream the Premier League contract free with a Now Sports day or month membership. 18 plus free bar internet terms apply. On DAB Plus, online, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. Live Premier League on TalkSport 2. The game is off and underway here. Chelsea against Manchester United. Big game in the race for European football. Malagusto drills it in low. It takes a deflection. Falls to Gallagher! It's on the and and in! What a start for Chelsea! And their captain, Conor Gallagher! 
I think that's a, a save that he has to be making there for sure. And Anthony makes a tackle on Kukurea. The referee says penalty. It's Cole Palmer, left footed, rolls it into the bottom corner. And Cole Palmer can do no wrong. Spot on again for Chelsea. Sensational player in sensational form. Gallagher dinks in the free kick, high to the far post. It's Assis free. Should have done better. And given away by Caicedo. Garnacho is through on goal for Manchester United. He steers it into the bottom corner. And Manchester United are back in the game. Game on, 2-1. Back to Dallow, corner of the area. Right footed cross. Header in. Bruno Fernandes, 2-2. What a comeback from Manchester United. I'm telling you now, Joe. 4-4's four on. Corner of the area. Left foot. Ball towards Gallagher. Talk Sport 2, where it's half time between Chelsea and Manchester United. We'll have full second half commentary from Stamford Bridge in around 10 minutes' time. But let's turn our attention to Manchester United's Raphael Varan, and he admitted earlier this week that he damaged his body due to the impact of heading a football and played in a World Cup quarter final just days after showing concussion symptoms. Luke Griggs is the CEO of Brain Association charity Headway, and he gave his reaction to Varan's comments. Well, I think his comments were both brave and concerning really um i think they were brave i think there's a culture in football where you know, no player really wants to be labeled as unreliable or injury prone and i think that might be preventing some people from from you know about the concerns they they may be having but we also know that sport is as, as martin was kind of suggested but sport is incredibly um competitive um and players have short careers and they want to play every moment they can I think equally, you're a long time retired, and there does appear to be a growing acceptance amongst players about the, the long term implications of not looking after one's brain during a playing career and weighing up the benefits of playing in that quarter final versus the, the, the risk of not being able to have a life after football that, that you once wanted. You know? But you don't think about that at the time. Well, it's should, just simply should, should, should more players be thinking about that? Should it be taken out of their hands? Should a doctor come along and say, hold on a second, you've got concussion, this is not going to be good for you, we're taking you out of the well, game? Well, just at this minute, heading is part of the game. If I'm a coach, I would expect my centre-backs, particularly centre-backs, to come and head the ball when there's danger. So I would be expecting them to do that, and I'd be the first one to admonish them if they ducked out of it. So this is the point. Now, eventually, if, if it is proven that, that, um, that dementia comes directly from, from heading a football, and it may well do, I, I genuinely don't know that. And it's certainly heading he heavy balls way back in our day wouldn't have helped at all. But overall, it's, it's this situation. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you put this to the player? In, in today's game now, we do have medics who will say to them, you are concussed, you have to come off, as it is in the case in rugby matches now, you have to come off and you will not be available to play in a, in a, uh, in a couple of days' time or in a week's time or whatever it is, you have to do the protocol. But perhaps the way back in 2014, it didn't exist. And perhaps maybe Varane may want to have played himself, even though he knew he was concussed. Yeah, I just don't know. How difficult is this for, for coaches, uh, Luke? Because on one sense you've got to be protective of your your charges you've got to make sure that their health and well-being is secured but as martin said it is still part of the game heading the football on a regular basis and if a player is sort of got in the back of his mind i'm not suggesting that Varane has got this in the back of his mind but certainly this is what we're talking about if a, if you're thinking about the possibility of the damage that you could do to yourself by heading the ball and it's making you reluctant to do it obviously managers are going to be annoyed about that. They are going to demand more from their players. Do you understand where Martin's coming from there? Uh, listen, I think Martin makes a number of very, very good points. And I think that, that it's really important to recognise that, that we have an increasing knowledge uh, and research regarding um, heading the football so There is still more research needed to be done. But I think what we're talking here is about working on the knowledge we've got at the moment and the evidence we've got at the moment and the players' responsibility themselves. Because you're right, that, you know, when we talk about uh, we're talking about the two different things here. One is, is the short-term immediate effects of concussion. Second is the long-term effects on brain health of repeatedly heading a football. And I think if we go back to the formal one, you know, we often, um, I, I've been on the show many times talking about concussion protocols when, when acute concussion has, uh, has happened. And the impossible task that medics face when trying to assess a player on the pitch for two or three minutes with 65,000 people wanting the game to continue, um, that's a really difficult, really difficult job. And... The players themselves have a responsibility here. 
And I think what is to either not speak up with medics, maybe you didn't share it with the team doctors, how he was feeling. And, and there is a role to play here about educating players and making sure that, that they help the medics and the team doctors understand what's going on. Because so much of concussion, for example, it, it, it's very difficult to spot the, the symptoms to be delayed in their presentation. They can re involve things like nausea or, um, or headaches or general confusion. They can be very difficult for a medic to spot. But I think players need to be honest and step forward and say, I don't quite feel right. And that's what he, he did with one of these games um, by saying that I need to be not considered to for selection. Chelsea against Manchester United. Big game in the race for European football. Malagusto drills it in low. It takes a deflection. Falls to Gallagher. It's under Bernardo and in. What a start for Chelsea. And their captain, Conor Gallagher. I think that's a, a save that he has to be making there for sure. And Anthony makes a tackle on Kukurea. The referee says penalty. It's Cole Palmer. Left footed. Rolls it into the bottom corner. And Cole Palmer can do no wrong. Spot on again for Chelsea. Sensational player in sensational form. Gallagher dinks in the free kick, high to the far post. It's Assis free! Should have done better. And given away by Caicedo. Garnacho is thrown goal for Manchester United. He steers it into the bottom corner. And Manchester United are back in the game. Game on, 2-1. Back to Dallow, corner of the area. Right footed cross. Header in! Bruno Fernandes, 2-2. Two -two. What a comeback from Manchester United. I'm telling you now, Joe. 4-4's four on. Corner of the area. Left foot. Ball towards Gallagher. Stamford Bridge where it's Chelsea 2 Manchester United 2 in the race for European football elsewhere in the Premier League Liverpool lead Sheffield United by two goals to one late in the game at Anfield so as it stands Liverpool will go back top of the Premier League table and well whatever happened tonight Sheffield United will stay rooted to the bottom it'll be another defeat for Chris Wilder's team Scott Minto a uh, former Chelsea defender is alongside me here at Stamford Bridge. And Scott, I think when you hear the chatter in and around the press box and the commentary boxes and the looks on the faces of the fans, everybody's just getting their breath back after that first half. I've just been speaking to Jason Cundy. And we've just... Uh, <laughs> we've just got... That's just us now. Um, you know, you go tune that up. It's game management, isn't it? You know, don't let them get that first goal back because once they do psychologically they're right back in the game and you know Moises Caicedo he's I don't want to talk about price tags because it's not his choice as to, to how much has been paid for him but he's still trying to come to terms of being a, a Chelsea player at the moment just go back just keep it simple let's say game management go back to your keeper try not to, to play a difficult pass that has to be inch perfect fair play to Garnacho the way he he took it sprinted composure finish 2-1 and then even then, get to half-time, make sure you're still 2-1 up and Chelsea weren't able to do that. That's well, the sixth time now, on a row, in the row, that they've conceded two goals. It's incredible. Manchester United are going to make a, a half-time change because Johnny Evans is stripped and ready to come on. Uh, a player who missed the game at Brentford because he wasn't fit. He's going to make his 150th Premier League appearance for Manchester United. Chelsea, I think, have brought everybody back out onto the field for the second half. Here come the... Manchester United players and to me it looks like Maguire Varane there. Yep. hasn't re-emerged yeah it's Varane who's not come on so Evans will replace Varane at half time that you would imagine is fitness related but of course it remains to be seen exactly what the issue is for Raphael Varane tonight but Chelsea ready to go so too Manchester United for the second half here on Talk Sport 2 a draw doesn't really suit either team in the pursuit of European football Liverpool have got a third against Sheffield United at Anfield, Cody Gakpo has surely wrapped up the points to send Liverpool back top, that's live on Talk Sport we are live here on Talk Sport 2 for the start of the second half from Stamford Bridge, Chelsea 2, Manchester United 2 and Manchester United the red shirts, white shorts and black socks will get the second half kicked off, Bruno Fernandes does just that Right to left towards the shed end where the away supporters are. Chelsea, royal blue with white socks. 
playing from left to right. I'll give you the two sides again. Chelsea, Petrovic in goal. Gusto, Dizassi, Badiashil and Kukurea. Gallagher, Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez in midfield. Palmer and Mudrick in support of Jackson. And for Manchester United, the goalkeeper is Onana as Casemiro steers a high ball up the inside right channel. That'll take a couple of bounces and it's claimed by Petrovic. So Juan Bissaka, Maguire, Evans now and Dallo are the, are the back four with Casemiro, Menu, the two holding in midfield and Bruno Fernandes, Anthony and Garnacho in support of Hoyland up front. Chelsea were 2-0 up but Manchester United came from behind to level the score. Lots of Chelsea fans still retaking their seats here at Stamford Bridge. We are right at the back of the main stand. It's a dark night now of course but still relatively mild and Manchester United have a throw on the halfway line right in front of Maurizio Pochettino and how much disappointment will there have been for the Chelsea boss Scott Minto after losing a 2-0 lead in the first half. Yeah, first of all, it's, it's pretty summertime, Joe. So it's, it doesn't it's feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> it may not. I was complaining about the weather and someone said, well, we are April, April showers. Um, look, Pochettino will not be happy. Of course he won't be. You're 2-0 up. You, you find a way to get to half-time and, and keep it at 2-0. I do feel the, the intensity dropped, perhaps understandably so. Dallow has won it back for Manchester United, surged into a central position, then knocked it back out wide to Garnacho. Corner of the area, square to Bruno Fernandes, edge of the D, left footed effort, it's blocked by his own man, I think. I'm sure that came off Hoyland, though Manchester United are asking for handball against uh, Barrier Shield. Play goes on, referee not interested. Cross from Casemiro in towards Hoyland. He's brought it down, he's gone down. Is that a penalty? The tackle from Disassi. Referee again says no. Limited appeals for Manchester United, who won it back again, though, through Harry Maguire. Maguire surging into the box and a left footed effort of Screamer. I think it was meant to be across to Maguire. Rifled over the top and behind for a goal kick to Chelsea. Two minutes gone in the second half. It's 2 2. And Mano Gusto, who had to come off against Burnley last weekend, has gone down and stayed down amid that remarkable driving run from Harry Maguire of all what people. an amazing run from that old-fashioned left winger, Harry Maguire. <laughs> Honestly, it was brilliant, wasn't it? He went past a couple of players and Mano Gusto's injured himself in the process of trying to stop him. In the end, it was a... Yeah, it was, I think it was a cross but because he was stretching and wasn't able to get control of it, but... I think it goes to show that United feel they can go on and win this game. So it's Liverpool leading Sheffield United, they're top of the Premier League, 3-1 up as it stands. Arsenal second, Manchester City third, though City would have the chance to go top temporarily on Saturday lunchtime with a win away at Crystal Palace. Here come Manchester United, it's been given away. City would need a big win away at Crystal Palace to do that. Gusto to the halfway line for Chelsea, back on his feet, forward to Palmer in a central position, he evades Harry Maguire, he's racing through the middle of pace, Palmer left footed effort blocked by wan Saka, who suddenly appeared from nowhere, wan Saka in the way, and now Anthony darts forward on the counter attack, and it's that will attack, you'll attack mentality that seemingly pervades these two teams in this match, and it's Bruno Fernandes now, up to the edge of the D, wide to Garnacho. he's in the area, the angle against him, Garnacho's low crosses, ricocheting off the shins of Disassi, corner to Manchester United, I don't know where the midfield of both sides is at the moment. I'm breathing heavy watching, Joe. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable how end-to-end -end it is. And the corner's taken short by Garnacho to Bruno Fernandes, right in front of the Manchester United fans. Terrible ball from the captain, given away to Gusto. And now maybe Chelsea. It's their turn to counter. Great pace in both teams. And Jackson hits the ball up the right-hand channel, but the moans and groans from the Chelsea fans, it's nowhere near Cole Palmer. So, 2-2 on Talk Sport 2 and for the latest odds you can head to William Hill our official betting partner for Premier League coverage right now Chelsea 23 to 20 the draw at 19 to 10 a Manchester United win at 14 to 5 that's all thanks to William Hill get epic value all season with William Hill 18 plus be gamble aware dot org well, what a remarkable game we have here both teams really need to win it. Gallagher caught on the penalty air for Chelsea. Kukare on the overlap. His cross is deflected up into the air. Drops down to Gallagher about five yards from the dead ball line. Nearly five minutes into this second half and 2-2 it remains. Chelsea were 2 nil up, but Manchester United have since recovered, deservedly, to draw level. Caicedo, who made a big mistake for the Manchester United first goal, scored by Alejandro Garnacho. And... They've angled it wide to the near side, the right, and Gusto. Uh, individual mistakes are uh, a bit of key part of Chelsea's issues defensively all season. Yeah, 
look, you just can't keep on conceding two goals a game and have to score three to win a game. It just doesn't work like that. I mean, they might well do it tonight, but they may well concede even more. Again, it's so open, this game. I, I, I've no idea which way it's going to go. But one thing I would say about Anthony, and whether you like him or whether you don't, the reason why he's in the side more so than Marcus Rashford is because at least he's tracked back for the team and he just made a diving tackle to stop a cross coming in from Kukadea, which I haven't seen Marcus Rashford get his shorts dirty for a very long time. It's a fair play to him there. Yes, Rashford and Mount are on the Manchester United bench, among others. The likes of Amrabat, Eriksen, Ahmad, McTominay and Kambwala, Heaton the goalkeeper. I'll give you the Chelsea subs as well in just a moment Juan Bissaka's forced the ball into the feet of Bruno Fernandes he's about 12 yards from the corner of the penalty area wide to Anthony all left foot coming in field from the touchline he almost found Bruno Fernandes but good diligent defending by Mudrick to intercept on the stretch all the way back in his own penalty area and now Enzo Fernandes carries the ball forward over the halfway line again there's no Manchester United midfield Enzo Fernandes onto Palmer edge of the penalty area here's Enzo Fernandes again brilliant block sliding in was Johnny Evans this time to make a crucial intervention and now here come Manchester United three against three running at the Chelsea back line in red Bruno Fernandes steers it to the right and Anthony Anthony has set up Hoyland on his underlap sliding in his disassi to make a tackle hook it away from under the legs of Hoyland this is chaos football at Stamford Bridge <laughs> do you know what a tackle from Bissassi as well because if he hadn't have made that inch perfect tackle it would have been a penalty you say ridiculous oh I say ridiculous this is just unbelievable this game it really is how end to end it's ridiculous and we love it <laughs> do you know what it's brilliant and you don't see this anywhere else in the world top level football played at 100% the power and the strength the lack of defending yes but the will to just try and score more goals than the opposition it's a, it's a brilliant game of football to watch it's not one for the absolute purists in terms of yeah we want to try and make ourselves difficult to beat but it's a great game to watch it's finished at Anfield Liverpool have beaten Sheffield United in a back top of the Premier League Pochettino and Ten Hag having words on the near side touchline the fourth official just having to get in between them there Pochettino wagging his finger at Ten Hag that all came about because of a Maguire foul and now it's put forward by Dizassi Jackson caught on the penalty area rifles it goal was beaten away comes down to Mudrick Mudrick's on the edge of the area now tries to jink in field towards the edge of the D and he's tackled by Casemiro who scrambles it away only as far as Malo Gusto Malo Gusto up to the edge of the area couple of step overs plays it back out wide to Cole Palmer to deliver left footed that's blocked it'll fall towards Malo Gusto again he's put it back to Enzo Fernandez. lots of red Manchester United shirts in front of him He's clipped it to the left and Gallagher. Gallagher left hand edge of the penalty area. Skips onto his right side. Lays it square. Caicedo, edge of the D. He's played it to Palmer. Tried to thread it back to Caicedo. In the way was Johnny Evans. Manchester United counter-attack this time. In a breathless start to the second half. It's 2-2 with eight minutes gone in the second period. Malo Gusto wrestles Garnacho off the ball. And now it's Chelsea's turn. All out attack at Stamford Bridge. Eventually Palmer's held up. But he still steers the ball infield to Enzo Fernandez on the halfway line. Attacking players have got so much space all the time for both sides. Here's Gallagher corner of the penalty area once more onto that favoured right side. Now he tees up Moises Caicedo to drill one in low. Evans is in the way. Comes back to Axel Dizassi. He's urged to fire it. Dizassi corner of the penalty area. Relentless stuff. Square to Enzo Fernandez. He's dinked it over the top. Anana will gather. And Manchester United goalkeeper urged to slow the game down. But he hasn't done that because they're on the break again. It's four against four. Hoyland through the middle. He's got players left and right. He's played it left to Bruno Fernandes. Over the top from inside the area on his weaker side. His left foot is gone behind for a goal kick. Chelsea 2, Manchester United 2. I don't know what it's like for the coaches. It must be hell, but it's heaven for all of us. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just it's unbelievable, John. John. <laughs> do, do you know what? I, I think it's uh, what we're seeing is we're, we're seeing two teams that are trying to show effort, trying to show intensity in the way they haven't done recently, but also showing their deficiencies by... You know, we talked about a lack of structure in the United side and how Chelsea are a million miles away from where they want to be as well. We're seeing all the vulnerabilities being opened up here. It makes for a great game of football, but for both managers, they will not be happy with how this game is so open. Now Cole Palmer's down to Chelsea right. He's fouled by retreating Dallow. Dallow with a tackle from behind, and the man the Chelsea supporters are screaming out of their seats. They're packed around us in the commentary position. They want a yellow card, and Pochettino and 
of one of his assistants. It's not Jesus Perez, I don't think. It might be Miguel D'Agostino speaking to the fourth official saying that should be a yellow card. Pochettino's got other pressing issues to maybe deal with here because it's a free kick to Chelsea in a dangerous position at the Matthew Harding end of the ground and Dizassi and Baddy Ashiel are both forward here. Well, 11 minutes into the second half, surely there are more goals to come. Yeah, last time we saw Dizassi up there almost trying to take on, acting like a right winger. Ten seconds later, Bruno Fernandes was shooting just over. Got to be careful of the counter-attack, Chelsea. Well, Palmer's ready to take this. Gallagher standing over it as well. It's left to Cole Palmer in swinging left-footed. Not the best of deliveries from him. Good header away by Johnny Evans. He's had an excellent game since coming on at half-time for Varane. Now it's Caicedo steering the ball on the angle to the near side, the right, and Cole Palmer. Chelsea 11th in the Premier League as it stands, so they've got a game in hand on everybody around them, at least one game in hand. Manchester United, of course, would remain sixth. Eight points adrift of Tottenham in fifth position. Bruno Fernandes has won it off Gallagher at the expense of a foul. That was a little fortunate, maybe, for Gallagher and for Chelsea. Jared Gillett was in the right position to see it. Yeah, you're right to mention... They've given it away again, Chelsea. And Hoyland is bursting up the middle. Hoyland's got the pace to dart into the area. And Dizassi snaps back at him with a crucial challenge. He punches the air. Does the Frenchman Dizassi like he scored a goal? Chelsea so careless on the ball again. And Manchester United were nearly in for a third goal to turn the game around completely. They've got a corner. Got to be careful when to come in because five seconds later, there's a chance at either end. It's incredible. It really is. And Hoyland showed his pace, but so too did Dizassi. The way he came across and made sure that he wasn't quite able to get the shot in. Hoyland, brilliant defending. Bruno Fernandes with the green boots on will take the corner. Evans and Maguire and Hoyland and Casemiro are all there for Manchester United. What can they potentially carve out of this? Bruno Fernandes with the delivery. Casemiro, header over the top. Six yards out under pressure, looping, and lands in the first couple of rows of Manchester United expectant fans behind the goal. He's not the tallest, is he? But he knows how to score with a, a header for sure. As we welcome listeners from Talk Sport. Chelsea 2, Manchester United 2 at Stamford Bridge. Though that doesn't even begin to tell the story of what has been an utterly enthralling, chaotic game so far. Chelsea were 2-0 up after 19 minutes, but Manchester United have fought back. Chelsea on the attack there with Cole Palmer. He's off the edge of the penalty area. He's curled it, and it's tipped over the top by Andre Anana. That's a corner for Chelsea, all in blue, away to the right of the Matthew Harding end. Here's Scott Minto. Well, we've had, what, 33 goal attempts between these two sides. 2-2, two -two, could easily be 3-3, three -three, could possibly end 4-4. Four -four. And both sides just absolutely going for it, showing the intensity that they haven't done on many times already this season. I think both sides also showing their vulnerabilities, or how they're just not able to be defensively strong. It makes for a wonderful watch, but the, the managers must be having kittens. We said it earlier on TalkSport 2, it's chaos football. Make sure you download our app if you haven't got it already, by the way. Crucial between now and the end of the season. Ricardo Mudrick will take the corner for Chelsea. Right wing, one arm up into the air. Right footed out, swinging delivery. Dizassi got a glancing touch on it, but it'll drift away from goal. Out towards the left-hand side. This is a crucial game in the race for Europe. There's a Manchester United player down on his front. Inside the area, I think it's Mainu. No, it's Wan-Bissaka who's down. And the referee goes across to check on Wan-Bissaka as we tick towards the hour mark here. So as it stands, Chelsea would move up to 11th in the Premier League. They'd be four points adrift of seventh spot. Manchester United, sixth, would be eight points behind Tottenham in fifth. And fifth, remember, could well be a Champions League place come the end of the season. It's Chelsea 2, Manchester United 2 on Talk Sport and Talk Sport 2 with Now. Don't forget, with Now, you can stream all the Sky Sports action, live contract, free with a Now Sports membership. Search Now Sports. It has all been happening here, Scott, and finally we get a pause in play. Yeah, we can all get a bit of a breather. Well, I think you're absolutely right to mention the table because I, I do think it's a key game for both sides and what they're trying to achieve. And, and both managers, of course, who are almost trying to keep hold of their jobs. You feel that both are on trial until the end of the season. Pochettino and Chelsea trying to get into a European place and obviously would love to win the FA Cup. Manchester United, of course, would love to win the FA Cup and are trying to get into a, a Champions League place, which I've said all along I think fifth would be enough because I think the English boys will do well in Europe this season. 
get the feeling that both they are to achieve what they want really do need to come away with three points tonight I think it's what makes such a, a fantastic watch here both teams absolutely going for it while being a, a long way off from where they really want to be defensively certainly the structure of the team they're going to have to bring on Willie Kambwala here Manchester United I can see Eric Ten Hag and Steve McLaren down on the near side touchline very crowded area in front of the tiny dugouts here at Stamford Bridge we are right at the top of the main stand looking down to the touchline below and Kambwala will take to the field very shortly for Manchester United is it going to be for Wan-Bissaka you'd think probably yes because he was the player who went down and he's coming across to the near side touchline back on his feet not moving as badly as he was a couple of minutes ago Rashford and Mount by the way among the Man United subs and for Chelsea and the likes of Sterling, Madweke, Chukwumeka, Chalaba and Thiago Silva on the bench Marcus Rashford is going to come off for Manchester United left out tonight in favour of Anthony so Rashford and Kambwala both looking ready to come on for Manchester United the score is 2-2 after Liverpool went top of the Premier League earlier with a 3-1 win over Sheffield United live on Talk Sport. On Saturday we've got Crystal Palace against Manchester City. City would, if they got a really thumping win, potentially be able to go top of the Premier League at least temporarily. Aston Villa against Brentford on Saturday at 3. And then a massive game again in the race for Europe and in the relegation battle. Tottenham against Forest Sunday 6pm Talk Sport live and exclusive. Aaron Wan-Bissaka waits to come back onto the field for Manchester United, so temporarily down to 10, but they are going to make a double substitution shortly, as Casemiro clears in what has been a chaotic second half, breathless second half, and relentless, as Manchester United race forward on the attack again, Garnacho in red, streaking towards the edge of the penalty area, he's beaten Dizassi into the box, he's pulled it low across goal, Dizassi gets back to slide in, there's a word in the ear of Garnacho from Dizassi, as Manchester United win a corner, or do they? Goal kick, says the referee, in front of the shed end. And wan has come back on. And Garnacho and Bruno Fernandes, arms outstretched. They can't believe it here on a dark night under the lights in West London. Well, to be fair to De Sassi, a brilliant defending yet again. So difficult to try and get past him. But you know, I didn't understand why Cavallo was staying there and ready, stripped, when it looked like wan wasn't walking towards the bench and, and walking off. So maybe they're just waiting to see how he is over the next couple of minutes. It's been you'll attack, will attack in this game so far. And Chelsea now, 2-2, 63rd minute. Palmer dinks it into the box. Malo Gusto almost got the flick on. Harry Maguire stood tall like a rock to head it away for Manchester United. Rashford and Kambwala still wait to take to the field. The ball is at the feet of Gallagher for Chelsea. Ten yards here to the D. He squeezed it right to Palmer. Palmer in field on his favoured left foot. Couldn't poke it into the path of Gallagher again. The ball is cleared away by Manchester United upfield. And Anthony's got the pace to take on Kukurea. Kukurea struggling to keep up with Anthony. Right wing position. The Brazilian couple of step overs and he scampers beyond Kukurea. Fantastic run for Anthony. He steered it right across the face of goal and Hoyland ran the other way. Couldn't get the simple tap in. It's come back to Garnacho on the near side. Been one of Anthony's best games this season, I think, for Manchester United this. 2-2. No, absolutely. And I'm really interested to see that who Rashford comes on for because Anthony would kind of look like the obvious one, but he's played better than Garnacho. And Garnacho even now looks like he's struggling with something. So I wouldn't be surprised if Garnacho is the one who comes off. I would be surprised if it's Anthony. Talk sport and talk sport too. So Gallagher and Palmer gave Chelsea the lead. Palmer a penalty after 19 minutes. So that was 2-0. And then Garnacho and Bruno Fernandes in quick succession before half-time for Manchester United. We said before the game, Scott Minto and I, it could end nil-nil or four-all. And the latter looks obviously far more likely. I think we knew after four minutes when it went one-nil what kind of game it was going to be. Very, very open, defensively poor. 2-2 two -two at half-time, you're thinking, yeah, it could easily be 4-4. Four -four. Obviously, it's calmed down in terms of the scoreline, but in terms of the end-to-end the -end play and the lack of control of the tempo of the game from, from midfield the protection that the defenders are just not getting from both sides you still get the feeling there are more goals in this game. No clean sheet for Chelsea since the end of January. Manchester United looking for three straight league wins over Chelsea for the first time since 1965 slight tackle by Dano Gusto. Chelsea fans in front of us right next to the commentary position are fuming with the referee again no yellow card for Dalla. I think they're making the point that it's been more than one poor challenge tonight from the Portuguese. Here comes a double change for Manchester United. So it's uh, an opportunity 
for Marcus Rashford to take to the field. And the sub is sub. Evans comes off. So that could only be injury related because Evans replaced Varane at half time. And that's a straight swap with the Frenchman Willy Camboala. And the other change for Manchester United is Hoyland taken off. And Marcus Rashford, who scored a couple of uh, belting goals against Chelsea in his time, is the man who comes on and will play through the middle for Manchester United now. Interesting, isn't it? Well, Evans had had a very good game since coming on at half-time, so you can only imagine that's no, he's, he's injury related. De absolutely, he's definitely picked up an injury, but it's interesting that Hoyland's come off and, and Rashford's gone as a number, t I say he's a number 10, uh, gone as the, the centre-forward. I think Anthony's certainly justified to stay on the pitch. And here come Chelsea, looking to test Camboala straight away. Gallagher's crossfield ball is miles over here. Way too much pace on that. One bounce out into the lower tier of the West Stand on the far side. We did have rain earlier, it's a slippery surface, but no excuse for that poor pass from Gallagher. And Manchester United now with Marcus Rashford, shy at the halfway line, on to Anthony. Anthony right wing position, far side, great ball outside of his foot. Got a goal! What a magnificent Manchester United goal! The comeback is complete in the most wonderful of fashions. What a pass from Anthony Crossfield. Where has that come from, from Anthony? Outside of his boots, and Garnacho just to nod it beyond the advancing Petrovic, and then he celebrates by sitting on the advertising hoarding in front of raucous Manchester United fans. What a comeback from Eric Ten Hag's team, and maybe it keeps alive their hopes of reaching the Champions League after all. From 2-0 down, Manchester United lead Chelsea by three goals to two. Well, the game is far from over. Believe me, the game is far from over. But that is a magnificent comeback so far for Manchester United. And again, we've got to give Anthony credit. who tried to do it today. It's been one of his best games in a Manchester United shirt. He's tracked back. He's tried to get forward. He's tried to look dangerous. He showed pace. And that ball with the outside of his left foot was absolutely sensational. You remember Roman Lukaku's one for Belgium? Well, it was better than that. From outside the box. And it bounces up and Garnaccio just gets in front of Petrovic. And it goes into an empty net in the end. A wonderful counter-attack play. But that goal was all about Anthony. And all the criticism he's had this season. Listen, that doesn't stop it. But I tell you what. What a performance he's put in so far this evening. One of the passes of the season outside of the boot from Anthony, swish of that orange boot and Garnacho with an excellent finish to just definitely nod it beyond Petrovic first of all he showed the pace Anthony then he actually showed the vision, he looked up and he could have carried on running with it but no, he believed in himself it was a wonderful ball with the outside of his left foot, and Garnacho just had to be brave with him seeing out the corner of his eye that Petrovic was coming for him he was, and he got there first and as I say, the ball was going into an empty net. And now from 2-0 down, United 3-2 up. Can they now hold out in this game? We shall see. Deafening noise from the away section of the shed end. And we have just over 21 minutes to go. Chelsea 2, Manchester United 3. And the Premier League has produced another classic for us. Live and exclusive on Talk Sport and Talk Sport 2. Chelsea have now conceded 50 Premier League goals this season. Pochettino's team and they've blown a 2-0 lead here and maybe if the first two goals you could look at Chelsea errors the third was just beautifully orchestrated and finished from Manchester United a real hope for Ten Hag with this performance Maguire has drifted the ball out into the left wing position Garnacho, another great pass right across the face of goal towards Marcus Rashford who wasn't anticipating it cleared away by Kukurea and how vulnerable the Chelsea look defensively yet again that is 13 goals conceded in 6 games they're going to bring on Sterling and possibly Chukwemeka shortly Chelsea yeah I'm not surprised substitutions are going to be made they have to be the Chelsea side very much on the back foot now and they're giving their all but they're not able to just control this game control the tempo of the game so at the moment it's all United he has to change it Pochettino and he has to change it quickly have one save from Anana in this second half despite plenty of toing and throwing from both teams and Manchester United still with a vulnerability about them as well Chelsea throw 
And just inside the Manchester United half, Chelsea Maroon in 12th place. Mudrick coming off for Sterling. And here comes Chukwemeka as well. Paisedo, who made a big mistake for the uh, first Manchester United goal. Chukwemeka is his replacement. What do you make of those changes? Yeah, Scott Mitchell? yeah good changes. I understand it. You know, Raheem Sterling, I think he's got a little bit of a point to prove. Not in great form at the moment. Mudrick started the game well, has been playing well in recent games in a Chelsea shirt, but just not really seen much of him in the second half, so that's very positive, and I, I like Carney Chukwemeka, I think he's really good, he's been very unlucky with injury this season, whenever he gets on the ball, he came on a course against Leicester when we both were here, Joe, and made a big, big difference to that game. Sterling, you're right Scott, absolutely right, he scored uh, the third, didn't he, Chukwemeka, in that quarter-final victory, 4-2. Sterling never scored against Manchester United in all of his career. Sterling on the turn now in the centre circle, trying to use that live wire pace, but blocked off by Emenu in the middle of the Manchester United midfield. Chelsea 2, Manchester United 3. Wonderful game. Talk Sport and Talk Sport 2, with sports bar to come. Once we're done here at Stamford Bridge, 03717 double four. And Chelsea might be in behind here on the Manchester United left there, right. Dallow helped out by Harry Maguire, who's had a good game. And now Maynou tangles with Gusto on the near side of the right. Slight tackle, Casemiro comes in at the expense of a Chelsea throw. You have to credit Manchester United for this fight back. And actually, strange though it is to say it, they were still playing well as an attacking force, even amid Chelsea's 2-0 lead early. No, absolutely. I think they played really well. When you think about, and I was at the Brentford game, when you think about how poor they were, I mean, they, it's, it's not too much criticism to say they were actually shocking in that match and I think that was a 4-1, 5-1 game yet they somehow came away with a point even when they were 2-0 down I was saying about how this is actually a much better performance for them to come back from 2-0 down if they were to win 3-2 I think this will give them so much confidence going forward and for the rest of the season maybe, just maybe they could catch Spurs and or Aston Villa well assistant is flagging rightly here for handball against Maguire Free kick to Chelsea, very dangerous position. Right on the right-hand edge of the penalty area, level with the six-yard box. So this is a genuine threat here that Chelsea can pose from this set play with Badia Shield and Jackson and Dizassi all having been sent forward into a very crowded penalty area now. Manchester United have brought everybody back to defend this, leading by three goals to two. And There'll be some more Manchester United reinforcements shortly. I think it's McTominay. Ten Hag's got his arm around him on the near side touchline. Very steep drop for that touchline below. And Chelsea will have a change shortly. But first they have a free kick with 17 minutes left. Talk Sport and Talk Sport 2. As Palmer fizzes that free kick into the near post. Punched away by Onana. Did very well through a crowd of bodies. Spun off his gloves over the top into the Matthew Harding end for another Chelsea corner. They're sick of the game. He got lucky there, Onana. He did spin off his gloves. In fact, it just went off the top and instead of going into the, the back of the net, went just over the crossbar. Got away with that one. Another corner that Palmer will take. Bad issue and Dizassi and Kukurea, who scored his first Chelsea goal recently, forward in towards Dizassi. First time header over the top from the corner of the six sharp box. And Chelsea are going to make a double change. Trevor Chalaba and Alfie Gilchrist, who signed a new contract this week, the youngster through the system. For Manchester United, McTominay coming on. Straight swap here for Casemiro. Casemiro will take a slow walk towards the near side touchline. Can I get that? I do, I do get that. I think Casemiro doesn't look quite 100% fit. Still probably going for, trying to strive for that match fitness. I think McTominay with the, the, the power that he's got, the strength that he's got, he can just help protect his back four. Off goes Malo Gusto. A straight swap with Gilchrist. Gusto on a yellow card. And uh, Dizassi taken off and here comes Trevor Chalaba who has had a very injury hit season the Chelsea defender gloves on and a short sleeve shirt it's quite a mild evening here in West London Chelsea 2 Manchester United 3 Manchester United from two goals to nil behind have come back to take the lead Liverpool 
3-1 winners over Sheffield United earlier. They are top of the Premier League. 70 points. Arsenal 68, Manchester City 67. City live on Saturday away at Crystal Palace, only on Talk Sports. And we've got the East Anglian derby in the Championship. What a game that is. Norwich in sixth against top of the table Ipswich. Aston Villa in the hunt for the Champions League, currently fourth. Take on Brentford on Talk Sport 2 and 3. Then on Sunday, we've got Tottenham against Nottingham Forest on Talk Sport. Here's Maynard. There are more than 50 live games in April alone on the network. And his ball has just clattered it upfield and easy for Badia Shield to retrieve for Chelsea here. And Chelsea, understandably perhaps, look very flat since conceding that third Manchester United goal. Yeah, but they've got to find a way to get back into this game. I think almost from about five, ten minutes into the second half, it has been United. Chelsea need to find a way to get this equaliser. How much of an effect could defeat have on Chelsea's hopes of European football? Palmer, corner of the penalty area, Jinx inside. Reverse ball left footed towards Sterling. Everybody expected him to shoot, but Harry Maguire didn't. Maguire was there to sweep it clear into touch, and that's a Chelsea throw. Taken quickly by young Gilchrist, and now Palmer takes up possession again in a central area. Infield to Enzo Fernandez. Square to the number seven, Sterling. Sterling's 35 yards out, too far away for a shot and blocked off by McTominay anyway. Wide they go, Gallagher to Kukurea, little ball to Sterling down by the dead ball line. Chelsea playing from left to right, raw blue shirts and shorts, white socks, Manchester United in the red shirts, white shorts and black socks. And now they break again with Bruno Fernandes, tucks it over the halfway line, Chalaber has beaten Garnacho to it. Not the best of layoffs from Bruno Fernandes. And Manchester United's single goal lead that... 3-2 advantage is a slender one. Jackson feeds Chukwemeka, 25 yards out, thought about a shot, edge of the D now, back to Conor Gallagher who does right for one goal, so that's blocked. Chelsea fans want handball. No appeals from the players on the field, which probably tells you all you need to know. There's a right tussle between Gallagher and Maino, and Gallagher's come out on top. Enzo Fernandez edge of the D, sweeping ball left to Raheem Sterling, one-on-one -on -one with Wambasaka. Jackson, angle tight, blocked off at the near post by Willy Kambwala. Which way will this fascinating game go next? It's another corner to Chelsea. Twelve and a half minutes plus added time to go. Yeah, great defending from United, but at least Chelsea have stepped it up. Look like they're getting close towards that equaliser, but as I say, United standing firm right now. And it's just the moment Chelsea control themselves level. Palmer out swinging. Gilchrist with a header that is over the top from about 10 yards. Chelsea fan, the 20-year-old, a new deal till 2026. Uh, this week, only made his senior debut in December. Uh, there's a couple of Chelsea fans getting up in front of us. I hope, Scott, they're just going down maybe to get a bottle of water or something from the concourses. You couldn't possibly be leaving a game like this with 12 minutes plus added time to go. Either they're buying water or they've drunk too much water, but uh, I'm sure they'll be back. I won't have any of it. Never in football do you leave early. Here's Gallagher, infield from the right-hand side, little touch back from Jackson to Palmer. Might open up for him, 20 yards out. He's urged to shoot, he does, he rifles it. Well blocked by Kobe Maynou, sliding in. They've actually dealt with the threat of Palmer well so far in this second half. Manchester United, Anthony Shawley a foul, shoving the back of Kukurea. Free kick to Chelsea, 10 yards from the edge of the box. And Chelsea threatening here territorially, but still 3-2 down. Well, just in the first sort of 20 minutes of the second half, we didn't see much of Cole Palmer. He was brilliant in the first half, he really was, and not just because of his goal. We didn't see much of him at the start of that second half, but now he's coming back into it. Chelsea just look a completely different side when you get him on the ball. Got to find a way to get him on the ball, even if he's coming inside. Just where are you? Just pass it to you as much as possible. I actually felt if he'd have looked up instead of having a shot, Raheem Sterling was in a better position. It's, a, it's an easy game from up here though, isn't it, Joe? Well, certainly not for me, that's for sure. The rain tumbling down here now, Scott. Scott Minto. Former FA Cup winner at Chelsea in the 90s. And Gallagher standing over it, hands on hips. Left of centre towards that far side. We've definitely got a bird's eye view of this. That makes me feel very old. <laughs> in the 90s. Sorry about that. We should have left that bit off at the it end. It is what I? it is. Chalabert and Badia Shield are both forward. Gallagher standing over it. Chelsea looking to make it 3-3. Gallagher with the free kick, whipped in right-footed poor, slice off the right bit of Rashford, fortunately high up into those dark skies, and it's another corner for Chelsea, Gallagher got lucky, he who started the scoring in the fourth minute feels a long time ago that goal, Chelsea have taken the corner short, Palmer to Sterling, corner of the area, 
Might set up Palmer here, but Sterling instead dinks it in himself, and that's an easy take for Andre Onana. On the edge of his own six-sharp box, and surely Onana will take time to slow the game down. There might be real pressure on Maurizio Pochettino if Chelsea lose tonight from 2-0 up, particularly given the performance against Burnley at the weekend. Be more drop points at home for Chelsea, who actually coming into tonight had only lost one of their last nine. Flick by Jackson to the left and Sterling. They are capable of scoring here, Chelsea. He's attacking the defender, Cabuala. Steers the ball across the face of goal. Jackson left it. Palmer couldn't reach it. Palmer has kept it in down by the opposite corner flap. Near side the right. Manchester United sitting very deep here, defending the edge of their own 18-yard area. Chalabas square pass to Badiashil. They're hoping to hit Chelsea on the counter again. Manchester United into the last nine and a bit minutes. Plus added time. It's played back to Sterling. Corner of the penalty area again. Short for space, Sterling, though. And Gallagher's tried to surge up the left, and he's blocked off by Juan Bissaka. And Manchester United are determined to take a victory. Back to Old Trafford, ahead of the game against Liverpool on Sunday. Liverpool, who are top of the Premier League now. Another fascinating weekend on the way. Brought to you by the Talk Sport Network. Here is Enzo Fernandez in the centre circle. He turns away from Bruno Fernandes and darts up the middle. He's laid it square to Conor Gallagher. Uh, Palmer, rather. Palmer's return pass, not good. Cleared away by Bruno Fernandes off field. Garnacho will hair after this. Can't keep it in play. Chelsea 2, Manchester United 3 on TalkSport and TalkSport 2. With Enterprise Rent-A-Car, whatever the mission, home or away, Enterprise helps over 120,000 people every day. Have your old club got it in them here, Scott, to summon up the Gaal and quality for an equaliser. Well, at least they've stepped it up. They've looked a lot more dangerous in the last 10 or so minutes. Cole Palmer's got more involved in the game. I haven't seen enough of Nicholas Jackson. Raheem Sterling's not quite come on and, and made the impact he wants him to. Maybe Chuck Mulwacken uh, hasn't done it either, but you have to say United are, are being very solid at the moment. That's a ball through the middle, though, by Gallagher. Great tackle sliding in by Wamba Saka on the cover. The Manchester United centre-halves were high up the field and exposed, but Wamba Saka slid in. Robust challenge to win it back. Manchester United, as it stands, will be six points off Tottenham with eight games to go in the race for fifth, which could well be a Champions League spot. They would be eight off Aston Villa in fourth, and Manchester United would have a game in hand. So absolutely crucial, you feel, for Eric Ten Hag that his team see this out with seven and a half minutes to go. Oh, they'll be breathing down their necks. We know that Villa, obviously, are in Europe, and they've got the difficult games to come. Same two for Spurs as well. Well, look, United have got Liverpool at the weekend, but I'm sure they'll be concentrating on this right now. If they do win, they really do pressure, put pressure on those two. Manchester United suddenly been involved in thrillers. The 4-3 FA Cup quarter-final win. Late drama at Brentford on Saturday, and 3-2 ahead of Chelsea from 2-0 down here. Petrovic all in green. Chelsea goalkeeper starts, a, starts an attack. Chelsea would remain five points off seven spot. They'd be below Brighton and Wolves and Bournemouth in the Premier League, Maurizio Pochettino's team. Like Manchester United, they have an FA Cup semi-final to come. Oh, and Mason Mount is going to take to the field in a moment. You can hear the boos already. Blimey, good luck. You're 3-2 up, you're coming on. Chelsea very much on the attack, and you're just about to come on against your old side. You're only going to get boos all around the stadium. He's not even on yet, Mount. Floated for by Enzo Fernandez. Out to the left wing position. Kukurea chests it down. Pulls it back across. Cambuala turns it awkwardly behind for a corner. Maybe if we're being pedantic, could he have done better there? Yes. No, I don't think you're being pedantic. I think he perhaps just didn't quite his, get his feet in the right position. And he's put his team under a little bit of pressure here with the corner for Chelsea to have. Sports bar next on Talk Sport with Jamie O'Hara and Jermaine Pennant, formerly of Liverpool and Arsenal corner from Palmer into the area up towards Badia Shield headed away Manchester United escape at least for now and Anthony darting forward again low centre of gravity kept the ball well in front of Kukurea the ball's gone out of play and the referee stopped the game deafening booze for Mason Mount on his return to Chelsea no love lost between Chelsea supporters and the man they used to adore. Off goes Garnacho, who wasn't.
Scott's on a hat trick. His goal has given Manchester United a 3 2 lead. And Mason Mount came through the system. He's going to get even more loud boos from the Chelsea supporters. And that makes it very clear where Chelsea supporters stand on Mason Mount. Wow. That was loud. And look, there are reasons behind it. He's been a fantastic player for Chelsea. Chelsea fans not happy in the way that he kind of was able to get away from the contract and go with Manchester United, to be fair, for Chelsea. He got a lot of money for him. But still, he was one of their own, wasn't he? And you just knew that that would come on, especially after scoring his first goal for Manchester United at the weekend. Chelsea 2, Manchester United 3. In the 86th minute, live on Talk Sport and Talk Sport 2. On the night when Liverpool went back top. We've had all of the midweek Premier League football and all of the accompanying drama only on the Talk Sport network. And more to come on Saturday and Sunday. Here's Sterling for Chelsea. 20 yards from the corner of the penalty area. Infield from the right. Mount makes a good challenge. And it's cleared away by Bruno Fernandes. And there are boos as Mount, the Manchester United number seven, receives possession. Maynou back to Harry Maguire. Maynou, edge of his own penalty area, risky crossfield ball, almost intercepted by Palmer, and he got very lucky there, Maynou. McTominay there back to help him out. Bruno Fernandes, brilliant ball, pinged on the diagonal to Anthony, who has been the assist king for Manchester United in this second half. Step overs, he takes on Kukurea, he's in the box. Kukurea says, no, nope, not having that, and he wins it back. And now here come Chelsea. Manchester United have not really threatened at all, actually, since scoring their third goal. Noddy Madueke waits to come on for Chelsea. Another exciting, talented, attacking young player. But Chelsea just cannot keep goals out this season. No, they can't. And as much as you think it'd be strange to take off a striker, Nicholas Jackson has been, has been non-existent really today. He's been very quiet, hasn't he, Jackson? Looking for his 10th Premier League goal of the season. Sterling's right wing cross. Diving header away by Maguire. Brought down comfortably by Bruno Fernandes. Back to Maguire again. Surely Manchester United here, Scott Minter, should try and slow the pace of the game at every opportunity. Yeah, I mean, to be fair to Chelsea, they're, they're applying the pressure, not giving them the time to do that. Palmer is 35 yards out through the middle onto Chukwemeka. Chukwemeka turns, he's found Sterling, the angle's tight, Sterling lays it back, and the shot from Chukwemeka, was he fouled? It's come back to Sterling again, trying to wriggle his way through. Palmer's blocked off, Bruno Fernandes clears away, at least temporarily for Manchester United. Roar of the Chelsea supporters. Playing from left to right in the driving rain at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea desperate to turn this around for their own European hopes, which are fading very fast. It's Enzo Fernandez towards Chukwomek, who wins the corner. Tight area in the penalty area off McTominay. Corner count continues to rise. Number 10 now for Chelsea over the course of the game. And it's Gallagher off and Chuck Womecker on as Pochettino just goes for it now. Yeah, look, I mean, to be fair, he has to. We're coming into up to injury time now. I'm not Sorry, Madaway K on. Madaway K on, yep. Yeah. And we know that he's a, an incredibly talented player. He's not been given much time. He wasn't given much time in the Leicester game, but he, he found a way to score. Can he do something similar here? to Chelsea that Enzo Fernandez will take Manchester United have everybody back remember that four all draw between Chelsea and City earlier in the season corners taken short back to Kukurea Chelsea left it late that day here's Palmer on the edge of the D lovely reverse ball into the feet of Enzo Fernandez down by the dead ball line it was on its wrong side his weaker left foot flags up near side that checkered lime green and orange flag free kick to Manchester United Chelsea if they are going to get something as fans get up from their seats in front of us here to lead have certainly left it late. Booze from out. You can tell he's on the ball whenever the booze of the crowd return. Last minute of normal time. What a game, Scott Minter. I don't think you need to mention his name, do you? I think it, <laughs> everyone will know when he's on the ball. He heard it again there. As Rashford spins and turns up the near side left channel. It's right in front of the commentary position here for Manchester United. A little dink up field by Bruno Fernandes. Easy for Chalaba to win it back for Chelsea. How much pressure is there going to be on Maurizio Pochettino if Chelsea lose this? I wonder what the crowd reaction will be at full time. From 2-0 up. Oh, there'll be boos. And understandably so when you've been 2-0 up, but I don't necessarily think they're aimed at Pochettino. Here's Enzo Fernandez, 40 yards out. 
too far away for a shot. Wide to the near side and Lonnie Madueke. Madueke, instant darting into the penalty area. Left footed curler gathered by Onana. Into his chest, inside the six yard box. You can see what Madueke was trying to do as we enter. Eight, eight minutes of added time. Is that all? I want more. Plenty of time. Premier League game. Plenty of time for a, a couple more goals. Season of classic Premier League matches, really, Scott. Joe, it's been a wonderful season in the Premier League. You know, we're heading towards one of the very best climaxes, and not just in the Premier League. And the way Talk Sport are covering it towards the end, it's incredible. It really is. The EFL, all the divisions. The Top Premier League has been sensational. Euros in the summer, all of the action with the Talk Sport network between now and the end of the season. And yet, into the summer, England and Scotland at the Euros will be there in Germany. More live football than anywhere else. Here's Madueke, right wing position for Chelsea. I say right wing position. It's about 10 yards into the Manchester United half and easily marshaled by Dalla. Rain is probably the heaviest it's been all evening. Teaming down now. Flicked by Kukurea up the left wing. Headed away by Willy Cambuala for Manchester United, who replaced Evans, who'd replaced Varane at half time. So. That's a concern for Eric Ten Hag. A couple of central defensive issues. Well, they already had issues at left back. Just under seven added minutes to go. Manchester United fans in full voice to the left. But all the play to the right as Chelsea seek an equaliser. Turn in field from Chukwameka. He's run into McTominay. Maynou stabs it forward, gets it back from Rashford. And now Bruno Fernandes just shy of the halfway line. Back to Dallow in the left back position. Little prod towards Mount. Lovely flick through the legs of the defender, Gilchrist. And now Bruno Fernandes not exactly tearing up the left wing. Feeds Rashford. Rashford digs it over the top. Great pass towards Bruno Fernandes who seemed to give up on it a bit but maybe there was a bit too much weight on it gathered by Petrovic. Yeah, he overplayed it and actually he should have just played it to Mason Mount. The Blues return as Mount when it wins it back for Manchester United again. 3-2 Manchester United lead. Now two through the eight added at the end of the game. To be fair, Mason Mount has been superb since he's come on. He's not given the ball away. He's made a couple of tackles as well. He's looking very composed. Had a long spell out injured earlier this season, Mason Mount. First goal away at Brentford at the weekend. And he's back in West London tonight, of course. Ole is for the Manchester United fans. Bruno Fernandes back towards Dallow. Dallow is bundled over by Palmer. Big cheers from the away section now. Dallow goes to ground right in front of Eric Ten Hag. Now then, what the instructions going to be from the Manchester United manager here at this point as hordes of Chelsea fans now get up out of their seats and head for the exits. 3-2 down. Yeah, it was almost a question of just don't foul. I know they're trying to play keep ball and it's difficult to get it off them. But the moment you make that foul, you kill the game. You give Manchester United time. It's exactly what United want. Just a little bit of ill-discipline there from Cole Palmer. Dallow with the ball in field for Manchester United to Maynou. Ten yards inside the Chelsea half. Steers it left. Excellent control by Mount on the stretch. But Chelsea, well, I thought they'd won it back. Mount wrestled it back off Madueke. And then Bruno Fernandes wins a throw. Is he here to prove a bit of a point tonight, Mason Mount? How will he feel after all those boos, Scott? Oh, and Enzo Fernandez and Mount here, Mount has shot. Enzo Fernandez, they were head to head for a second there. Mount wouldn't give the ball back. Enzo Fernandez wanted it back quickly. Referee has stopped the game, Jared Gillett. And Mount at a place where he was once loved and adored, finding himself public enemy number one. And just a little tete a tete with Enzo Fernandez. Referee sensibly lets it go. We're in the fourth minute of eight added. Chelsea 2, Manchester United 3. The ball with Manchester United. Throw goes out to play. Goal kick Chelsea. Well, he didn't need to get involved in that. And Enzo Fernandes again showing the frustration. Uh, man, that has been excellent since he's come on. And that was good refereeing, I have to say. He could have taken that further. Could have booked them, maybe even have sent them off. Looked like they put heads together. And just sensible refereeing. Jamie O'Hara and Jermaine Pennant coming up with the sports bar on Talk Sport after Liverpool beat Sheffield United to go two points clear of Arsenal at the top. Liverpool 70 points, Arsenal 68, Manchester City 67, all with eight games to go. Manchester United are going to close the gap on fifth spot to six points if they beat Chelsea here. They lead 3-2 and Anthony raids down the far side of the right again. More and more blue empty seats starting to appear around the ground. Kukurea good on the cover, sends it back to Petrovic. A little bit of 
of shock maybe among the Chelsea players that this game has got away from them. They went 2 0 up. Pochettino crouching down on the turf now. Last desperate attempts for Chelsea here in the last three minutes that remain. But Manchester United relatively comfortable. Bruno, uh, Enzo Fernandez shows his frustration again as McTominay comes upfield with the possession. Into the Chelsea half he goes. Anthony at walking pace. He's got to be tighter, Enzo Fernandez. He's, he's putting his hands up, but he's not marking anyone. The ball's in the corner. All they can try and do is kick it out. He's kicked it out straight to McTominay, who's able to turn and run with it and kill a few seconds. Chelsea look like they lack belief now. Mount, little touch in field to Bruno Fernandes. The pace of the game has dropped completely after such a frenetic game for the most part. This is game management for Manchester United. This is what neither side have really been able to do. Not just in this game up until now, but almost all season generally. But just in the last 10, 15 minutes, United have been very clever with how they've done it. And Chelsea, sorry, Joe, just saying that Chelsea, it's very difficult to suddenly go against the tide in the way that it's gone. 2-0 up, 3-2 down. Manchester United now in control. And they can't go again, Chelsea. They're trying, but they just can't. Absolutely right, Scott. More and more Chelsea fans heading out into the wet, rainy evening here in West London. Two minutes to go. Madueke, he's got away from Dallow. He's in the area. He's tripped. That's got to be a penalty. It is a penalty to Chelsea in the 97th minute. It had to be. Dallow on Madueke. And Chelsea out of nothing. Second penalty of the game. And the chance to grab a point late on, just as they did against Manchester City earlier this season. Oh, wow, what a moment. And just when we thought that United were seeing this game out, we should have known, shouldn't we? The way this game has gone. Madueke, I mean, that's what you want your substitutes to do, somehow affect the game. He got a one-on-one -on -one with Darlo. And instead of coming inside like a lot of we, these inverted wingers do, he said, you know what, I'm going to take you down the outside and see if you can catch me. He didn't. He got the other side of Darlow, and I know what it's like when you're a fullback. You're thinking, I don't want him to get that cross in or get the shot in. Yeah. I'm going to dive in there, and he shouldn't have done. He's brought him down, and what a moment now. VAR is checking it. Scott, you've got a monitor in front of you. You're seeing it again. What do you make of it? Well, from the angle we're seeing from behind, from where we're sitting as well, I can't see anything. There's a clear and obvious error to overturn that and Darlo he, he's on the floor as if he knows he's made the wrong decision by diving in Harry Maguire put his hands to his head as well and you can see Darlo's not complaining at all I'm looking at another angle now it's brilliant pace and strength and he it, do you know what I feel for Darlo because he almost trips up but he trips into Madueke and then brings him down it's a foul it's an unintentional foul but it's a foul well, cannot not give a penalty there. Still being checked by VAR. David Coote is the video assistant. Jared Gillett is the on-field referee. And the check continues. They are looking at a slow-mo replay again and again and again. What was the game where David Coote was in VAR last weekend? I can't remember which one it was. And let's just say it wasn't the right decision. Dallo stumbles. He stumbles and falls into Madueke, who is about to take a touch. He doesn't get the ball, though, does he? David Coote was the VAR for the Liverpool-Brighton game uh, last week. He's the VAR again tonight, and this is a very long VAR check. And at the end of it, the Chelsea fans think the penalty is going to be given. The decision is going to stay the same. Referee has walked back towards the penalty spot, hand up to his ear. Palmer's holding the ball, already scored one penalty tonight. He's placed it down on the spot, and the penalty kick is surely going to be taken here for Chelsea. It's a penalty, Joe. I don't know why they've taken so long. It's a penalty, I, it I, is. I feel for Darlow because he's, he's tripped himself up and then fallen into Madueke, but it's a penalty. You don't need to spend that long. Stamford Bridge, live on Talk Sport. Cole Palmer put the first penalty in the first half to Onana's left. Which way will he go this time? We're into the 100th minute in West London. Cole Palmer to salvage a point here for Chelsea. Here he goes, left foot in. He rolls it into the bottom corner again. He is so cool, Palmer. 3-3 three, three to score. And Chelsea had salvaged a point with maybe the last kick in yet another Premier League Classic live on Talk Sport.
two for Palmer, three for Chelsea. Desperate disappointment for Manchester United. Chelsea three, Manchester United three after an extraordinary 100 minutes of football. Do you know what? It's been an absolute pleasure to have sat here and commentated on this game. Two teams, two big giants trying to get back to where they belong. Still not over. Don't rule out Manchester United right at the end. The clearance away from Paddy Ashiel. We have gone well over the added time. And here comes Chelsea. Madueke, he's knocked it up the middle. The chance is on here for Jackson. Raheem Sterling, angle tight. Sterling lays it square. Great interception. Cleared away. Comes back up to Shuffle Mecca to Carwan deflected. Just wide of goal. What an end here. There are people who can barely bear to look. Everybody's hopping down on up on their feet. And it's a corner to Chelsea that will be taken. 111 minutes. 3-3. Three, three. Corner's taken short. It's Cole Palmer! United, the way they look like they'd see the game out. We should have known the way this game had gone, certainly in the first half. It looked like United would win it, but no, Chelsea never gave up. Even 3-3. You still felt that United could have attacked, and then Chelsea attacked. And I, I just cannot believe what I'm witnessing here. This is just incredible. This is one of the classics of Premier League. Not just recent, but Premier League history. What a game.
be the hero like he has been all season. Yes, he got a little bit of luck with a deflection, but you make your own luck. A corner. They didn't get out. They didn't stop the shot. And by the time it reached one of the defenders in the six-yard box, Sonata's going one way. It comes off the United shirt and goes in the other way. What a game. Look, we saw a lot of deficiencies here from both sides, especially from Chelsea. But they have shown great character to come back and win this game. A brutal defeat for Manchester United, but Pochettino, like a warrior, whipping up the crowd and the Chelsea fans responding with utter jubilance and glee. Pochettino waving his arms into the air. Down below is on the near side touchline, and when Chelsea, when the final whistle went, he ran onto the field like Chelsea had just won. Hello guys, hello guys, what a blue, what a blues guys, what a blues, come on guys, come on guys, come on guys, this is what we are talking about, this is the Chelsea that I want to see, and this is blues I want to see, guys, this is a one, one of the best performance so far I ever see from Chelsea, guys, from the first half I was a bit angry, I was a bit, really, really angry about this Chelsea team, and I will say the truth, it's not that easy because Chelsea coming from behind and win this game, guys, it's a game to, it's, a, it's the best game so far I ever watched in Premier League and this is the best. Guys, if if someone would tell me that Chelsea can win this game after, play, after watching the first half, I will have a doubt. But guys, but watching this and seeing this result, now I claim my dad. I claim my dad so so far because this is the Chelsea that I want to see. Guys, I'm just, I can't show you the match, I can't show you the, the full details, but I, I believe that you if you are following us if, if for the first time, please don't forget to smash the subscribe button. But let's keep it on because Chelsea just have all three points 
they, that is why we call the bridge Stanford Bridge, the bridge that never fall. Guys, I'm so happy for this for this result. I'm so happy for this uh, wonderful result from Chelsea football team, and I'm so happy from this wonderful result that we just have today, guys. If sorry if you if you are not seeing me uh, because I uh, I'm doing some work. So I'm trying to program the the marsh and guys this is a wonderful this is a wonderful result and this is the best so far so we keep it on we keep it on i we keep it on because it's going on and we are going to bring you more updates about the match as 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 the players are still celebrating about this whole match so guys this is a, this is the best so far as i said before that i ever see from chelsea football club and yes yeah, it's, it's a wonderful one it's a wonderful one so please please i see a lot of you watching this live stream i see a lot of people watching this live stream but still we, we, you guys have to subscribe subscribe to the channel for more subscribe to the channel because your support is is very important to me and it's very important to me and and the and the rest of uh my colleague because you guys subscribe to the channel is a it's a huge one and we are happy to have you guys around so please subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed please subscribe for more updates about chelsea football club guys i, I i'm out of words because this this result that i just that chelsea have now guys this is the best so far that i ever see from chelsea football club this is the best this is what the best or one of the best uh results because i never expect after the first half i lost all hope but guys that is part of the game it's part of the game but i'm so happy for this wonderful result this wonderful kick wonderful three points that we have guys i'm so happy for it i'm so happy so please subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel as we are as we are still bringing you more updates about this chelsea team about this this live stream about this wonderful result for chelsea football club so don't forget to see the subscribe button like this video So I would I would like to ask who is the man of the match, but we already know Kopama, our our Stamford Bridge giant, our Stamford Bridge uh, the, the most the most talented player that we have in the in in the bridge right now, guys. Kopama made it again and it made hat trick hat trick and three points, guys. I think the whole three points is from Kopama and that is a wonderful one. That is what I want to see. That is the Chelsea that I want to see. This that is the Chelsea. This Chelsea that that wants to win game. This Chelsea that wants to win game. This Chelsea that wants want good results. Guys, this is a wonderful one. This is the one I want to see. This is the Chelsea that I would love to watch every day, every night. So guys i i'm so happy for this wonderful result i'm so happy for this chelsea team and i'm so happy to see my chelsea playing like this first tv point that i see that yeah this is the point chelsea these players wants to wants to have and they wants to they really need it seriously and guys this is the best so far I'm out of, I'm I'm speechless from this from this wonderful result. I'm speechless. But nevertheless, uh, I I would say this is the best so far. And guys, uh, if you if you are not hearing me, just let me know in the comment section because I'm still trying to work on the audio very well because I see that the sound is not that working 
so well so i'm still trying to work on it uh, so please don't be angry if you can't hear me very well i'm still trying to work on it and i believe a lot of chelsea fans are there shouting chelsea 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 yeah, I, I i i i think my guy my friend from uk we we will call me in few minutes now because he is in stafford bridge watching chelsea match and i believe i don't I, I believe that he's so happy for this result and also me myself i'm so happy that is why i have my blues uh, my blues the blues for life and we made the blues for life this this the, this is the chess i want to see this is the chess that i would love to see this is the chess that i would love to see playing fighting for results trying to win games trying to make things happen trying to big bring good results to the team and this is the blues that we all fall in love with this is the chelsea guys this is the chelsea and i believe all chelsea fans all over the world right now they are so happy i'm myself i'm so happy with my blue i'm proud of it i'm proud of this blue jersey come on guys this is what we want to see this is the chelsea that every one of us wants to see this is the chelsea that every one of us wants to see and i'm so proud of the uh, copama copama uh, proving again that is one of is one of our own and is uh, i think copama continue like this i think chelsea will we, we just find the next dj dogba if i can use if i can use the word i know dj dogba is a legend but copama actually against my united same my united who defeated uh liverpool and my united as has been in a good run and Chelsea just prove again that yeah we are we are the blues and Stamford Bridge is our home and uh, getting ultimate point is a good one thanks man thanks man for Kopama yeah Kopama man of the match I believe he will be is the man of the match because he's the best he's the best player and Ezo Fernandez working out to win game for Chelsea guys Ezo Fernandez yeah a lot of people said ah it's of Fernandez win just win world cup and chelsea spend a lot of money on him yeah guys watching chelsea game today i think the money that chelsea spent for enzo fernandez was a good one and because enzo fernandez has been in he has been part of this chelsea team and he has been bring it thanks man thanks man thanks for your comments and guys enzo fernandez watching him trying to win game guys this is the uh, this is the best so far i see with enzo fernandez pushing football wants to win the ball back to chelsea and wants to win the ball back to to our players guys this is the best so far and i i believe that if we continue like this we can still make european football for next season i believe so i believe so thanks man great win for chelsea yes congratulations for chelsea man congratulations and we the fans we are so happy and i'm so happy i don't know how i'm going to sleep today i'm going to sleep with all joy in my heart because if i tell you i put a 50 pounds for chelsea to win this game and chelsea just deliver for me so that is a good one that is a good one so guys if you are if you are following us for the first time thanks for your thanks for your support and don't forget to smash the subscribe button so that we can keep in touch and you i love this reaction uh commenting guys thanks for your support this is a wonderful one and i'm so happy for this chelsea football team i'm so happy for this tv point come on guys come on guys tv point we are and stafford bridge we uh we are the best guys uh, guys i i want to see this chelsea again in in european league and i want to see this chelsea again fighting for title i want to see this chelsea again being on top of the Premier League, I want the old time of Chelsea to to come back, guys. And if they continue like this with this performance today, I believe we can win any anyone any game. I believe against 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 City, against Liverpool, bring it on. Any of the big team, I believe with this kind of performance, and I believe we can we can still win games. I believe so. 
so thanks guys for your comment thanks for your support so if you if as i said before if it's the first time that you are following this uh, this channel please kindly smash the subscribe button for more news and more match version of chelsea football club uh, follow us for more guys and a lot is going on a lot is going on because chelsea are trying to to build team yeah i know that but still we, st we still have to give a little bit of time to the players to blend together and also Mauricio Pochettino to keep his job and to find the right man for the team and to find the right players to the first 11 guys I can say please sorry if I change topic because there is there is something I really want to talk about it's about it's about Messi Mount Messi Mart, a lot of Chelsea fans was bullying Messi Mart and Messi Mart trying to fight guys this is the best win why i love this so much because messi mart leave chelsea to join manchester united and now came back to stanford bridge and the fans we know he's a enemy number one in the game but winning against him is the favorite team is the best i ever see and that is what i want to see and that is the chelsea that i want to see Chelsea that win games, Chelsea that that fight for victory, Chelsea that Copama with all three points and with Atrick guys, I think Copama for not a year time will be will be the if not the best player in Premier League, it will be one of the best in Premier League. So guys, thank you for your support. Thank you for joining this live stream. If you are just joining and you are a Blues fans, let me know in the comment section down below and I will reply every one of you one by one so guys just drop your comment in the comment section down below let me know what you think about this chelsea team and what do you think about this wonderful result from chelsea football team and what do you think about this player and what do you think about kopama the attract man the man of the moment and the man of the game and the man of the match what do you think about him just let me know in the comment section down below so guys you know what subscribe for more Chelsea updates and for more match reaction. Don't don't let me down. Just smash the subscribe button for more updates. See you in the next video. Stay safe as we bring you more live chat and more live reaction and more match reaction. And tomorrow we'll bring you all the updates about the match full updates. That's why you have to subscribe to the channel. That's why you have to follow us because we bring you all analysis about the match and all updates about this Chelsea football club so subscribe to all my friends in Nigeria in Ghana anywhere you are thanks for your support and thank you for supporting the brother so subscribe for more see you in the next video stay safe before I, before I go I would love to say blues forever Chelsea forever blues forever Chelsea forever come on guys this is what we want to see.